Buy Phoenix. You buy local. Yeah, buddy. <laughs>from 60 to 80 fps oh my god are you using um Goodness. are you using uh dlss 3.0 or anything like that damn it you're really making me want a 4090 <laughs> what you shut your mouth don't be a slut patrick it's rude FPS performance. It'd be nice to pat. Uh, I he look. He told me to buy a 4090, and I can't. Couldn't. I could. I physic like I physically like could. 11:53. I'm not We're doing... going to. That'll be on Monday. 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 Yeah, because I think we're doing 11:50, 11:51, 11:52. On so you're very close, Super Surge. Uh, you're almost there. Yeah, Pat's a saint. Okay. <laughs> is that Pepe riding a goose? It, it sure, sure is. is. And he... Wanna wanna the remote the the uh, wells and uh, a lot of the, the third likes. Quasi is super close. Not just yeah. We're waiting on your. Cable mod cables because Cable mod decided to fucking shut down their factory. Um, Motherfuckers. Your wallet for sure hurts, but you think it was worth it. Plus, after uh, all the selling of the other parts, it only ended up being about 500 for the all 490. Right. Dang, that's nice. Uh, I think I have a freaking eyelash in my eye. Lick your eyeball. Please don't. <laughs> you, Twitch crash. Twitch crash. You missed our response. Yeah, so uh, 
You should hopefully, fingers crossed, Monday, be Monday, Monday, Monday Super Surf. Monday. Um, Monday. We're doing 11.50, and 11.52 today. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's just it's just a matter of scheduling. Um, did we check out Resident Evil 4 Remake Demo? Not. Right. Opinion was the 7900X or the 4090, not the way. What do you mean? Your GPU did arrive. Um, you know what? I'm gonna be honest, I, I, even though I should have, I did not watch any like videos or any reviews on the 13, or I mean the, yeah, whoa, hey, 7900X3D. Um, but, box, 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 box. I mean, big box, big, 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 big box. Big box, big box. Usually with Look how these sort of things, big it is. Usually with these sort of things, it's not that Dude. the chip isn't good. It's just that it this is the... isn't good for the price. So I mean that's not good, but you can you see should it have a good system still. A little bit back here, you can see it. And it's a very nicely made box too. Sounds like a box. Like, hopefully I'm not putting my foot in my mouth, but. Uh, give it a kiss for us. I, I, didn't, I purposely what? didn't read that out while I was hearing distance on it. We don't need, we don't need to do that. I do not know. And don't take all the new GPs and smell off that. Uh, um, he's gonna sniff it. He's gonna sniff it many more times. To happen. Um. Where's it one? Oh, they're right there. <laughs> you ain't ashamed to admit you kissed yours. Hey, it's yours. You can do whatever you want. You this know. is a M.2. Might even lick it a little. I'll try. I'll try my best to, to stop him from licking it. Well, it's taking in that good, good GPU smell. Listen, some of these boxes and stuff do smell really good. I, I, will, I do have to admit. They smell really good. <laughs> so. What? I wasn't, on, I wasn't on camera doing anything. You can't prove it. You can bottle up that GPU, GPU scent. smell as a scent. Probably, probably like can. manufacturing oil or something. Yeah, it's probably like... Some kind of like um, gas that they put in the stuff to do things. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I like how he's like, now nah, I'm gonna kiss it, then run into another room. If <laughs> you bath water. That's an idea right there. Run, run the PC in the bath water. I don't know about while that. you're in the bath. I don't uh, know about that one. Hey, you don't have to know. I just have to know. <laughs> Perfectly normal Friday ASMR. Uh. Uh. Goodness. All right, I got a question for chat. And it's a totally normal question. Um, would you rather have a cat with a human face or a dog with human hands? Need, I need information. Dog showed us a video where they turned a computer into a fish tank so you can totally make GPU fix bath water. Also new Valorant and Fortnite updates, updates today, huge day. So that's the thing. My counter argument is that the dog, it's a dog with human hands. So like not only do you have to worry about it like grabbing you and like holding on because it's so exciting, 
Um, because we all know the existence of the Cats movie and it was terrible. Like, like I'm not sure which one I'd rather pick because they both have horrible implications. I mean, what happens if the dog gets a hold of a gun? Um, the dog can get in your fridge, it can open your cabinets, it can strangle a baby. Um, so... You'd need the training. You would need to have the dog from birth so that you could, like, train the shit out of it. If you just found a dog with human hands, you could never, you'd never know their intention. Um, the dog could already get in the fridge. It depends on the fridge and it depends on the dog. I have seen a video of a guy who tied a, like, a dog toy to a, to a fridge and trained the dog to open the fridge, get him a beer, close the fridge, and then bring him the beer. Um, so, Rottweiler Revolver. Be Gun clear. dog. <laughs> Gun dog, the movie. To be clear, is it hands only on the front legs? Yes. Right? Yeah, it's okay. just two because if they had four hands, then it would be over. We'd be done. <laughs> We'd be fucked. The cat, though. Now. <laughs> if, if you found a dog with human hands, you'd just. You'd wonder what brownies you just ate. So, oh, yeah. Um. The, the, my thing with the cat is that, well, so you know how some cats like, sort of like, you can see them like kind of purse when they poop. If they kind of like purse, they're like, you can see their face tense up. What would, what would a human cat, a human face cat look like when it poops? Um, so you could, you could train the dog to trim your nails. I, I think that the dog with human hands it ultimately has more utility would would basically be about the same as already owning a dog no i don't know because okay because the way it's worded i would i would argue that the dog doesn't get more intelligent the cat doesn't get more intelligent. The they, cat they can't get, speak. They, well, that's the thing is their thing was the cat could speak. Because if it has a human face, it likely has a tongue and a voice box. Yeah, but like... Whether or not it can learn like, to speak. Speech is like, we need this down here. Larynx. Um, so, if, they if it's said, only the they face... They said the cat can speak. In the, I got this from a... Po I, I got sent a video of like a podcast does the cat still groom itself Ugh. yeah it does like all the normal cat stuff but you have to deal with the face and then it comes down to okay well what face does it have because if it's like um if the cat's face is like um there's no right answer because even if it's ryan reynolds or like if it's like um, an ugly first ugly face versus a beautiful face it doesn't matter or anywhere no in between. It's just... no because if the cat's face is steve buscemi I'd kill the cat. I think, I think, like, yeah, that's the thing. Face. I love cats. I don't know if I could deal it's with. It's going to be unsettling that it has a human face I don't no matter think, what the face. E that's the thing is I don't know if I could deal with it having like, like, especially not if it's like Steve Buscemi or Gary Busey, um, what if, like, or Nick Cage. And I feel like it's just a different that. kind of horrifying, whether it's a, so it's essentially a sphinx, exactly. That's another thing is, if you, you're, you're, yeah, you're basically making a sphinx, and sphinx are like not, not good. I mean, I think, in yeah, mythology. I think ultimately so. I would probably rather have the dog, because the dog, but, but only if, if, if I just find the dog on the street, who the fuck knows what it's learned to do with those hands while it's not in your care, um. And the cat, at okay. worst, the cat is creepy and unsettling. Um, I, I would argue that if we go based off, off the wording, God. then the, the cat's brain is unchanged and the, and the cat's throat is unchanged and the dog's brain is unchanged and the dog's like... The dog is leg. smart enough to know how to use the hand, like use hands though. It's yeah. It's not just a no, dog yeah. like I but like okay, and then I yeah, again, I would I would I would argue that the dog's like legs are the same. It's just instead it's just of the foot, hand. It's, it's just the hand. the hand. So 
I feel like it, it's it's the the horror of dog with hands or a horror of cat with a human face. And I mean, I think the the dog with hands would be way less visually unsettling, but conceptually, again. And like I'm, I'm arguing against both points because I don't like either of them. <laughs> um, but the dog with hands makes me really, really nervous because you now have what is essentially a toddler. I mean, because dogs are like fucking toddlers. Yeah. Like they know to res- they know how to respond to your voice. They know when it's like dinner time. That's about it. Um, oh, we gotta get rid of that. Oh yeah, uh, you're a cat person, but. You wouldn't want a cat with a human face. Imagine that thing walking into the bathroom, oh God, uh, yeah. watching you pee. Because all of a sudden, yeah, you have some voyeuristic little creature looking at you with human eyes. It's <clears> just <throat> not... I guess, so I guess my main argument is that although I agree that the dog has more capability now, um, it still has, I would, I would argue in my, in my, in my mind, question asked, the dog has the same intelligence. So it's like ultimately like okay you just need to like train the dog maybe a little bit more than you you'd need would to train it to extra it didn't but happen. but there are a lot more opportunities for that dog and on the flip side you have more opportunities to train it cooler things yes i think you know and that's the thing is like ultimately i think yeah the dog is the right answer but like although uh my friend made a pretty good point like what if like you could definitely start a cult yeah. like you could start a cult. you could almost does, for sure does the dog have wrists like yeah they, because it's not like it's fused there they they well, they have like i mean i guess your wrist and your ankle are like there's i think they're a they're similar Well, similar because a lot of it's a similar joint to your wrist because there's a lot of movement that happens like here yeah but same with the i mean obviously they don't like i'm just trying to think right now because i realized like they already do sort of have yeah like wrists they're just like, limited if you think about it it's not like the dog is going to be able to like right because you can't you can't really do that with your leg so so the dog can really only like do stuff like this. No, I think the dog, the dog can do things like people can. I think we're getting too far into the anatomy of it. Yeah, but that's important because the dogs can. Um, do dogs have like an ulna and a radius? No, they just have. Yeah. No, they, okay. No. But no, the dog can, can Cause pronate. Because like, because. For the for argument's sake, we're not worried about the anatomy too much of it. The dog I can am. grasp things like a human can. Yeah, but like I would argue you can't do like stuff like this. Stuff where you need like this. You're thinking about too much. It's a dog with hands that can use their hands like a person can. So it can grab upright things. Maybe not quite as freely, but like if it wants to go open the fridge, it doesn't need to like turn sideways and grab it like that. No, it just yeah, reaches like, out and grabs the fridge. I'm just thinking that like dog with human hands. There's some things where you need to be able to do like this. And yeah. I think it I think it So can't it can do walk that. up behind you and rip your pants. Yes, the dog can pants you, Ryan. Yeah. But yeah, the dog the dog can what is it, supinate and pronate? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What about that? Okay, it's it's a dog with hands and a cat with a human face. I I think we're past the bounds of like Listen. You have to you have to nail down your your uh, parameters. You have to What's up, Spirit Two? Wear a lot of sweatpants, that could be problematic. Yeah, but like... 
I guess, yeah, in my, in my scenario, the dog wouldn't pants you in the first place. So just because the dog has hands and can pants you maybe a little more efficiently than it could before, it wouldn't have done it before. So it's not gonna pants. Maybe you. not, although no, dogs definitely pull on people's pants. Yeah. There are dogs that pull well, on Well, that's because pants. they like jump like up on No, you. I mean like, I've seen like dogs, like you like, they like bite the back of their like waistband and like pull it down. Obviously, that's not a common dog activity. But look, that's the thing is like dogs are relatively smart. That would be really they, creepy. They, like other animals, test out their environment with their own like faculties. And so if you had a dog with hands, it would almost certainly learn that it can grab. Ooh, um, it can grab things and yank them down. At, sort of at will. This. I just feel like giving a dog hands only gives it the ability to grasp things. And I don't think that, I think that's, I think that's very useful in. in but like, that's the thing is like dog, but, again, dogs are smart and they know how to like learn. They like learn how to do things with their faculties and like just how a dog learns how to use its mouth and paws to do stuff, it would learn how to do stuff like that with its hands. And some dogs, some dogs do have a sense of humor. I know that sounds funny, mm -hmm. but dogs definitely have like that sense of like, ha ha, I got you. Imagine the handed dog fighting the cat. No. Smack, smack. And also catch its tail finally. See, that's what I'm trying to argue Fine. though, is that it's, it's front legs, how is it gonna get to the tail? Like it wouldn't normally be able to do that. It wouldn't, I don't think it'd be able to like wheel around and like rotate it because I don't think they have like a rotator cuff like we do. Yeah. Um, but again, it, we're, I think for arguments, argument purposes, it can, or is it supinate and pronate its hands to oh. grasp things as standard well, if it has hands, it could do a handstand, right? Dogs can already kind of do handstands. Yeah. I've seen dogs yeah. do like stoppies. Yeah. Have I you guess ever seen now, the video I guess of like you the, would call it a handstand. Have you ever seen like the the? I think it might have been like a chihuahua or something where it was like on its front paws and just like peeing and like walking <laughs> yeah, around. Um. I I think. I think. For me to be, for me to be on the same page, I would need, I would need dogs to have human arms instead of front legs. Like human arm and shoulder instead of front legs. What about just human forearm? Cause that's where all the hand muscles are. Where like the ulna and radius are to allow for pony. Yeah. Sounds like an idea for a new Meat Canyon video. Yes, it does. Yeah. Oh fuck, I love Meat Canyon. And then, and then I think if we're giving the dog human like arms and shoulders or or forearm or whatever, whichever one you want to go with, I think I think it, it's only fair to give the the cat a human voice box. That's fair. Yeah. So at that point, ugh. so that point I'm extra going with the dog because even though the dog definitely can do a lot more. But then what is it? I, what is this? What does the cat sound like? Does it if it looks like Steve Buscemi? Does it or does it sound like Steve? Buscemi? I don't care what the sound. Or does it I don't, sound I don't, like Garfield? I don't care what the cat sounds or looks like. Having a human face and being able to speak, oh, they would be so annoying. Uh, that yeah no, I, the dog would be annoying too. But it's probably for the best. We don't know. Um, they can't speak. Probably for the best. He's so mean. We don't. I, the pink dog standing. The stream started off real strong today. Well, don't worry, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> I, that is a good, that is a good question. Good question. 
Uh, man, part of me, part of me wishes I could, I could walk into the the physics room and just pose the question to the room. Seems to be what happens when we're hangry and just want some sandwiches. I had half my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I also brought spaghetti and meatballs too. <laughs> but no sauce, I ran out of sauce. I'm here for the good vibes and you get into a debate. Yeah. Don't let the don't let the experimentalists uh, hear you say that, Crystal. It'll trigger them. Baguette with no sauce. Do you have no sauce, bud? No, no sauce. I ran out of sauce, and I haven't gone to the grocery store in a little while. Dang. <laughs> Brother, may I have one spaghetti? Brother. Where are the loops? Give me oats. He's talking about the, the brother meme? The, the cat? The big fat cat? Brother, I require loops. Reminds you of the moth memes? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was like a, uh, it it evolved over time. It was a big like big fat hairy cat. At least the ones that I saw. If I put in the oh with the like the critics or whatever, is it gonna give me the? Oh. Yeah, I think it started out with this, the the two pigs and it's brother may I have some oats. That sounds right, yeah. I think that's how it started. Yeah, and then there's this cat with brother may I have some loops. Loops. Loops, yes, I love that picture. Um <laughs> And then yeah, moth, brother may I have some lamp. The moth, the Mothman memes really took off. Oh, I, I see it, Trashy. Brother, may I have one spaghetti? I found it. That's a good one. I like that. I like that. That's a funny little dog. That's a good one. I think it's just safe to say that we all prefer our, our animals without human features. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, now what let's like why do we have to stop it at cats and dogs? Like what if what if you had like a parrot with like human feet? Oh I guess that wouldn't be too bad though. I would be worse for the parrot because it'd be worse for the parrot. It's not gripping yeah. shit. It's not fall. It's not. It's gonna fall. That's uh, that's maybe a little cruel. Like parrots can already like, some of them can already talk. So it's like, parrot with human feet would not be a parrot. Yeah. You like a parrot with bat wings? That's funny. Oh. Oh, that's scary. But bats are the only thing that should have hilarious. bat wings. That well, would that would also really suck because you can't it, have and it can't fly. Yeah, you can't have wings and arms. You'd need two sets of shoulder blades. But like a a parrot with like human arms, that would just be that would just be like a like almost just like a little guy, almost like a little man. It'd be a little upstanding man. <laughs> Now, would those feet be human sized or bird sized? They would be bird sized. Uh, bir sure. They would be proportional to the to the bird. I, yeah. I don't think you could have 
Hogwarts has uh, Thestrals, so you beg to differ. Oh, those are cool. Thestrals are cool. Okay, I stand corrected. <laughs> Gazes over the giant parrot plushie across the room. <laughs> We're gonna find out, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> you were just imagining a bird Dude, trying to fly cables. with like size seven shoes feet. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Love a little bit of fucked up cyan. Five ounce bird cannot carry a one pound. Okay. Well, what if it grips it by the husk? Or maybe they uh, string them together by a, a, a bit of creeper. Good. I feel like I should watch some of the other ones too. Uh, Life of Brian is a is a good one. Um, I haven't watched much of their like like uh, their show or um, Flying Circus. What about falcons? I know we're talking about parrots, but how much do they weigh? Can't they carry small animals away? Oh yeah. So wait, you want to give falcons feet? I can't tell if that's in response to what I said or what trash you said. I just want to go to Ren Fair and participate in falconry. That sounds okay. awesome. Has anyone ever been to Medieval Times? What it is? Just to be clear, I've never been. I've heard about it from like someone that I've watched. What is it? It's uh, I think it's like a restaurant, but it's like a like like, like a, a role playing like a very restaurant. heavily themed restaurant. Yeah, like I think it's like a dinner with a show type of thing. Sure. And uh, that sounds familiar. Colorado, Colorado. what's up? Howdy, howdy. Yeah. I don't think anyone here has been alive for more than 200 years. <laughs> ha ha. Hilarious. Um, it's a dinner It's dinner with jousting and battles and stuff. Oh. Okay. Couch you sit and stands around a jousting ring. It, like, it sounds interesting, but... I mean, it's like something that... Like one of those things where it's like, well, I might as well try it out once. Or yeah. But... Uh, Eat with your hands. Oh, that's interesting. I already do that. That's a good question. I mean, it's probably like, like a little bit of both, maybe. Where it's like, if you see someone get hit, like they're probably getting hit and it probably doesn't feel good, but they're probably not going like full tilt at each other. If I had to guess, I don't know. Oh. Choreographed. Your Renfair does a fully armored joust. Jesus. That's cool. It is staged. Now, what what gets me is um uh, wonder Where? Uh, geared towards little littler kids. So cool. Is it because is it well, especially because as a kid, you don't know. But there are factions you get randomly selected in, so you get to cheer for your knight. That's cool. It sounds interesting. And boo the others. Ooh, you suck. 
Um, like location. Like location. The the person that I originally heard uh, about this, the creator that like lives in like Holly Springs. Oh, okay. I don't know if there's like one around here or not. It didn't it didn't seem like it. I think like Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. That might be Myrtle Beach would make sense. Goodness. AMD or Intel. Oh no. I think that I think you're asking that because we said at the end of the last stream. Probably. Uh Depends, honestly. At this point, right? Uh, looks oh, good so okay. far. Are you gonna stare at it the rest of the time? Um, food is pretty damn good. Tomato based soup is some good soup. Uh, no, we're we're food. we're kidding. We just get that question a lot. Uh. Never been here. I thought you were uh, here towards. I thought you were here uh, last stream. They fought us two days ago. Yeah, maybe they missed it. Um, but um, it sort of depends on what you want to do. Um, right now, honestly, I have not kept up to date. Yesterday uh, in chef stream. Oh, okay. Very uh, cool. Okay, that makes that's more what sense. it was. My bad. Uh, yeah. I knew I recognized the, the name from last stream. Um, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not that you're not supposed to ask the question. No, it's you're allowed that, to ask. Um, we get it a lot. And honestly, it's just not a very good question. Cause especially right now, because they are pretty close to each other. Um, I will say, uh, like AMD will run like if you compare the top two, I think AMD runs cooler. Um, but the 13900K, I believe, is still faster in most gaming instances. I think. Yeah, I mean, like for me personally, I don't, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the like performance targeting uh, a target. <laughs> boost yeah. uh for amd so like god it almost feels like intel's um, kind of doing that too though i i uh, so I'm, like i know intel is also like doing a lot of like boosting and stuff right yeah. now but i don't know intel just my personal bias is towards intel but both of them are like perfectly fine options yeah um I think that's the thing. I think a lot of people ask it and it feels like they're asking like Xbox or PlayStation. And it's like, you're gonna kind of end up with a similar result realistically. I will say that like certain CPUs are better for certain things. Um, exactly know for what I know. Um, uh, it's probably better for like encoding or are GPU prices still way over MSRP? Um, Depends on which GPU you're buying. It's not nearly as bad as like during the GPU shortage. Yeah, 4090s um, are getting uh, scalped a little bit right now. It sucks a little bit because the 30 series is like low, like basically no stock. Um, and the full 40 series lineup hasn't come out yet. So it's, it is a little bit um, tricky to navigate like for, for us. Um, but yeah, the, I mean, the prices maybe aren't where they should be, but they're not like crazy, crazy. Like they were in the shortage. Uh, Watch Linus's most recent video about him using an air conditioner to cool his computer. He used a 13900K and got higher scores than anyone else has been able to achieve. Jesus. Uh, basically, Intel ships CPUs that are 
Impossible to cool properly and thus lose out on 20% of overall performance. What the fuck? Yeah. Yep, this is a customer's PC. Uh, this is order 1150. Yep. We have not had 1150 orders yet. No, uh, our counting started at uh, 1,000 and... Um, 30? Well, it started at 1,000 and then between like test, test orders, orders and, and stuff, like yeah. stuff like but that. I think our first order was like 1130, was it? Maybe. Something like that. Really matters. Not really. Uh, just don't, don't have your fuzzy socks on and on a wool carpet build on the carpet and you know rub, rub your, your feet. feet and even then even if you do like um was it was it linus and electro boom linus and electro boom i mean yeah. they were like like shocking like tasing parts and it's still it was still hard to get them to, to blow yeah it just build on a, a table and um, touch touch the metal of the case before and often whenever you build, and you'll be fine. It's erectile sustainability disability. What did you Nothing say? Nothing to worry about here, Nick. What what? What what was that? Did we talk about? Nick, what are your Nick, business days? Nick, are you okay? What's do you mean like? What was that? What, what like, was that? When because we yeah, we stream okay? mostly on, um, uh, we stream mostly on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But what the fuck is he like tickling somebody in there? Um, and so yeah. Uh, we stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but um, we consider Tuesday, Thursday as like business days. Um, uh, some people do some things on the on the weekend, but I would say that like, officially we're not uh, conducting business on the weekend. And. Uh, I'll like come yeah, into like that? I'll come into like troubleshoot or something if I have some spare time, but other than yeah. that, yeah, don't yeah the weekend is we try we've been trying to leave the weekend to like our personal lives so that work life uh, balance burning ourselves out nice um. Just like me, for real, getting into the camera space when someone is. Yeah. Throw it, in, throw it in the Discord, Nick. Oh. <laughs> What's up, devs? What up? Already did? What? Hmm? Oh, Juno. Yeah. So that's what we did with the uh, safe coolers. But he gets into the camera a lot because. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Guys have a favorite case. Um, Ryan, you want to go first? Yeah. Uh, so, I I really like Lee and Lee's cases in general. Um, I would say right now probably like favorite case for like ATX would be uh, the O11 Razor Edition, and then um, I also am really excited to eventually one day possibly maybe build in uh, a Lee and Lee A4 H2O that I have 
Um, and uh, I would say if I had to pick favorite case that like we build with here, um, honestly, the MO3 is really cool. It's a nice little case. Um, is that what I would pick though? Maybe because I think that I think that would be what I pick. If I had to pick one of the cases that we use for builds, although Raven, uh, I think I think Mo three, the the harpy case, yeah, because I think it's just such a good size. It's nice and small, but you still get like MHX. Um, and this this uh, is the clip that Nick. Uh, <laughs> posted but let's see um i mean there are plenty of good cases out there though um it'll be interesting to see uh it'll be interesting to see the o11 evo xl mm -hmm. Oh, like I think I think they announced a release date for it a while back. I can't remember when that was though. Want to see some Fantex NV7 builds? That's right. Let me look that up because I don't think I ever looked that up before. Um, I'm a, I'm a pretty big Corsair fan in general. Um, Fantex does do some good stuff. Uh, for some reason, I feel like I'm just not a huge fan of their aesthetics. I uh, yeah, I don't love, I don't love the building either. Honestly, the the like the Fantex um, Valve X. It's such a chaotic case to build in. There's just too much, a little too much space between the front of the case and like the motherboard tray. At first, like the first time I built it and I was like, this is insane, this is crazy. And then I like very quickly got over that. Okay. I see, I see why people, why uh, I keep on mentioning the NV7 is a very uh, showcasey PC. I think it's kind of funny because I think we're just going to see more and more often trending towards um, no corner support. Yeah, which I, at first I was like, oh, it's not a big deal. There's not really enough weight, but man, picking up some of these cases, um, like picking up a height that is fully stacked uh, with no glass on, there is there is flex. I mean, there's definitely some flex in it. Mm. A little nerve wracking. I mean, it should be like, like I wouldn't want to carry that case with just the corner glass in because there might be a little too much flex. Your Y60 sucks to lift. Yeah. It is heavy. Okay. Moderately heavy case to start with. We've got that 7000D coming up though, baby. Hell yeah. I feel like, I feel like there should be some way for them to uh, you guys know there's, uh, they're bringing Micro Center to Charlotte? Is that true? What? Because I saw that, um, they're building a location in Indianapolis or something like that. And mm -hmm. they have two more locations, but they haven't announced the, um, actual location of. Interesting. Um... It 
it's not quite close enough for us to be able to like make a bonsai down. Yeah, it's still kind of out of the way for Like, us, hey, but... if they've got like a limited run type deal or something, or if I... Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure it's going to uh, be a hot sec before it's open, but that is cool. You live close to... Yeah, Quasi, I, I used to live close to a micro center when I lived in Cincinnati. And uh, boy, was it, boy, was it nice. Okay. That's really cool. Yeah, I've, I've basically not really been to Charlotte much at all, so I don't, that means, uh, that doesn't really mean too much to me. It's there if we need it, I guess. Yeah, four hour drive. And there's a solid chance that even if they like, um, Oh, it's about three hours to Charlotte. No, it's like, uh, with like traffic and stuff, I think it's like four hours because... No, because um, I've made the drive a couple times and you can definitely do it in less than three hours. Well, the... The wake that, um... The... Uh, the thing that I was going to go to for my friend, mm -hmm. uh, that's in, that was in Charlotte. And... Um, Did it really take four hours to get there? Yeah. I was surprised because it's more because it's like I would think that it would be a shorter drive than Taboon, but three and a half hours. Where in Charlotte did you go? Am I, am I getting them confused? Did you go somewhere else? Oh, never mind. I'm dumb. Never mind. I'm dumb. Where'd you, where did you go somewhere else? No, I was thinking of Asheville. Oh, okay. Whoops. I mean, that's awesome though. Uh, uh, glad that, you know, let's see, uh, uh, Colorado, yes. Um, uh, Micro Center is a very large uh, PC part like company. It's like uh, what, what's a compare? Like a, it's like a, almost like a Walmart for PC parts. But Walmart's not a good. It's like a, a brick and mortar store for for yeah. a bunch of shit. I forget. Where's the one in Virginia? Richmond. Does it really take you that long? Um, oh yeah, okay. I guess Richmond is like Northern Virginia. Yes. Huh. What? Did I? Oh yeah. This is in, weird. In June, I'm going to a uh, motorcycle rally that's in yeah. Uh, Richmond? It might be in Richmond. No, it's not in Richmond. It's, it's about the same distance uh, from here to there as it is from here to there. Oh boy. Um, uh, I've got a, right now I've got a uh, 2016 DR650. Um, I sold, I recently had a 2016 Suzuki V-Strom and then I sold that um, when I bought my car uh, and then I had a 1985 Honda CB 650 SC, which is the Nighthawk 650, and then a uh, 1981 BMW R100 RT, and then at home back in Cincinnati, my dad's not letting me bring it down until I have a garage, but I've got a uh, 1987 
uh, BMW R80 slash seven. Um, but yeah, right now I've just got the DR and uh, it's, I've been really liking it. Cause I had, we um, had a, or have a DR350 or my dad does. Um, and I like that, but I wanted something with a little more oomph for around here because all the roads are, you know, mostly 45. And um, uh, it's a great, great bike. I recently put an exhaust and a jet kit on it um, to like redo the fueling. Um, now see, that is, uh, so an O2 Harley Fat Boy and an S6 Street Bomb. Used to ride a CBR 1000, it was so stupid, uh, so I sold it. That is, that is the smartest thing you could have done. Honestly, like, I think sport bikes are neat and I would love like a Yamaha R7 or something just cause they only make like 70 horsepower. Um, uh, but man, those dudes on a thousand CC bikes, I mean, they've got a fucking death wish or something. They just bomb up and down the highway. Like, like it's fine if it, like if it makes you happy, okay, whatever. But it also gives motorcyclists a bad name because you know they're the fucking squids that are just like scooting around just, um, that and thought of myself, I said, I don't want to die like this. Exactly. So like when you're on something like a Harley or like a DR650, because the DR650, it's a 650cc air-cooled engine. I'd be lucky to be making 35 horsepower to the wheel. Um, so you can ride it at full tilt and still be within the, the confines of the law. Um, and so riding bikes like that really kind of like helps you like level yourself out when you're not riding something that is just so manic and so powerful that it just wants to buck you off all the time. Because luckily I've never had, of all of the like accidents that I've had, they've all been um, pretty, pretty low key. Um, you know, just sort of like me doing dumb little stuff or like low speed, uh, you know, low sides or something. Um, uh, 100 horsepower is is definitely a lot of horsepower, but I mean, those that's probably a, what, 500 pound bike, maybe a 600 pound bike. Um, so you'll make some, you'll make some good shove, but you won't be sending yourself through a guardrail. So that's cool. Yeah, I, I, I put this exhaust in the jet kit. So I'm hoping that I'm making closer to like 40 horsepower. Um, I think at the crank, it's supposed to be like 45. Um, got rid of room in the out. That, that is unfortunately an occupational hazard. Um, and it just goes to show that I have to retake. I'm like, I like vehemently, like violently believe in that. Like, I, like, I know I'm going to change my mind when I get old and I have to do that. But like, at the same time, it's also the kind of thing I have enough, like, I have, you know, enough of my wits about me right now to say that it's better for everybody if old people, I'm like, you know, AARP is going to come in and be like, yeah, you're infringing on old people rights. And it's like, okay, that's fine. But old people are infringing on regular drivers like ability to drive in peace <laughs> no offense if anybody's old like if you're if, if anybody's older like i don't mean that in like a fuck old people kind of way like old people are, are fine old people are people too i mean um but at the same not time necessarily a bad idea to like retest no people's especially around driving. here like sometimes i feel like everybody should retest it because even if it's not um on a window. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, that sounds like an old person thing to say, though. Unfortunately. Oh, that's extreme. Because, like, well, the thing is, like, you gotta think, like, a lot of those old, like, a lot of the old people that, like, are um, screw the blue hairs. Um, a lot of the old people that don't like motorcyclists probably don't like them because they have some, like. Um, misconception that all motorcyclists are gang members and that they're all you know just rowdy trying to cause trouble and 
you know, realistically, we're just trying to have a little bit of fun and, and you know, get around. Um, it's like, I mean, realistically, like motorcycles are toys, sure, but um, it doesn't mean that we're we're just trying to be pieces of shit. Was that wet? Yeah, it's uh, that's the kind of like if somebody like if so, I've I've learned that if somebody like yells at you like on the road or like in traffic, there's a solid chance that like, okay, you might've done something a little bit of dumb, like a little dumb if maybe, maybe I don't know. Um, but they're probably just having a fucking bad day. Like I know that like when I get upset with people on the road, I have to like stop myself and I'm like, no, calm down. It's just not that big a deal. A rough day, like it's okay. Yeah, luckily, I think I've gotten pretty lucky around here. Most people have been pretty, um, uh, have been pretty respectful of me being on a motorcycle, and it helps because, like, um, uh, like when I'm at a stoplight, if I stop before the person behind me, I'll tap my brake a couple times, or I'll like pulse it as I'm sitting there just to get their attention. And usually when I do that, I see them like um, slow down way before they would actually need to, which is always, uh, which is always very nice. Someone who's been publicly shamed for having tattoos, people are weird. Are yeah, so that sucks. Weird. That's... It's like, it's like mind your fucking business. Like, <laughs> if it doesn't, if it doesn't affect you and they're not hurting anybody, piss off. Like. <laughs> I'm going to be right back. He's going to do math. And look for cock. I'm going to go get my first path tattoo so they can feel bad about it more. Oh my God. I don't think I could ever get a tattoo. Not because I have an issue with tattoos or anything. I just, I'm certain that as soon as I got it, um, uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's math. <laughs> but I know that if I got a tattoo, I would, I wouldn't regret getting the tattoo, but I would regret the choice like that I made, like which tattoo I got. I immediately want something different. Um, plus, it's a lot. You, instant design regret, exactly. Um, and this is the thing: is like, yeah, if you don't regret your tattoos, and that's like, that's why, like, I think that people that get tattoos and like, or the people that are like, if you get a tattoo, it should have a meaning. And it's like, well, no, I, I think you can get, like, get whatever the fuck you want to get. I think there's a, a solid chance that you'll have less regret if you get something that you just happen to like or like whatever. I don't know. I don't really know because I don't have any tattoos. Or cats and bats. See, there you go. Take off soccer time. <laughs> Fuck that. I was a bit of a silly goose and I got to lock my car. <laughs> oh. Uh. New age of tats. Screen on your body. Ugh. Oh, it's like Futurama. Amy gets a moving tattoo or a to it was a talk. Oh God, a, ta a talking tattoo. Jesus. Broke. I missed math talk. What? No, because I was like, Ryan's doing math, and then no. Trashy was like, I'm, it's math. I was like, no, I'm pretty sure it's math. <laughs> Oh boy, my favorite part. Yeah, like, uh, tattoos aren't from like me personally, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna go like, yeah, like be a dickhead to someone who does have it them. Literally, it literally, not figuratively, literally does not affect the person who does not have the tattoo. I mean, that's how a lot of things are right now, but everyone just, and especially the boomers and the evangelicals, um, 
I think it's probably safe to say that we don't have it. And I, if you're a boomer, I'm sorry, but it's just, it's it's becoming less of a stereotype and more of a reality. Um, so. Pancakes or waffles? I think, I think pancakes and waffles are similar to like cookies and brownies from Ooh. my point of view in the sense of like, I like, I think I like brownies more, but they're not as easy to make as cookies. So I have cookies more often and I feel the same way about pancakes That's and waffles. Fair. I think waffles are better than pancakes, but pancakes are just Easier. Easier, so. You... I could agree with that. That That's a solid sentiment. Donated your pecs and shoulder to first time artists. Oh Cover my. up costs you 2.2K. Holy jeez. I would never, ever, ever let, if I were to get a tattoo, I would never, ever, like, I know they're supposed to learn somewhere, but it's not gonna be on me. <laughs> Big chocolate guy? Yeah, me too. I like chocolate chip. People think, people think I'm weird, because I'll, I'll have like, I could have like chocolate ice cream with like chocolate syrup or like chocolate fudge. And like if they're different kinds, if it's like, because it'll be like different, like slightly different kinds of chocolate. So that makes sense. I mean. Waited one year on a wait list for the artist. Oh, dang. I, I will say uh, that definitely make sure uh, that you want the tattoo. <laughs> Dude, white, I don't like, okay. White chocolate. Are there, are there actually people out there that just like love white chocolate? Probably. Is that you? Is There's that you? Rudolph? People for everything. Like, if something's white chocolate, I'm not going to be like, ew, no, and like not eat it. But, but you're not like, go out of your way. But like... <laughs> Want to fight about it? But if someone's like, here, uh, here's this white chocolate and here's this chocolate, I'm going to be like, yeah, just give me the chocolate every time. You'll die on this hill? I, hey, I didn't, I didn't realize, I'm sorry. Listen. I'm not saying, well, okay. Saying white chocolate is trash and your opinion is awful. That's not what I'm saying. I did, I'm sorry, I didn't know opinions could be wrong. <laughs> I don't know, I just. Hey, as trash. What are you, what are you trash as? You'll fist fight white chocolate naysayers. I just I like what's the what's the difference? That's crazy. I didn't Does realize. Does white chocolate taste like something else? I've the, wait compared to like normal chocolate. Yeah, like I know right. That's just that's a dumb question. What does it taste like? Um, my opinion, it tastes like ass. Creamier, ass. maybe like okay, a that, creamier flavor. Sure, I could see that. Um, Tastes like yum. That is not a very like scientific. Can't judge you haven't tasted it. I'm pretty sure I've had white chocolate. I just don't like. I don't remember the last time. Milder but somewhat creamier chocolate. Yeah, I agree with that. Fondant. Yeah. What's fondant? Um, have you ever had like like cakes? where they have some sort of like kid design or something. Uh, Cause yeah. nine times out of 10, it's fondant. Okay. It's like, um, it's, uh, it's almost like, the best way I can think to explain it is not a good way to explain it. I was gonna say like imagine imagine like different play-doh for cakes. Sure. But like 
I think I know what you're talking about. It tastes it tastes like extremely sugary though. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I honestly I don't really like very much frosting on cake. I like a like an easy thin layer. Um, the cake the cake part is what I want. Yeah, I really don't like uh, a lot of like cakes because like the the like typical frosting that you get of like the really like sugary frosting. I, I just don't. Yeah. Like it's the same with like cupcakes. Cupcakes are a bit better than cakes. There's not as much like scrape it off a bit easier. Sure. But I think it's that I I think it's not that I don't like cakes. I think I don't like cheap cakes. Which, you know, is obviously what you're gonna have more. Hate sponge cakes, they taste weird. I yeah, I think I can kinda get behind you on that one. Uh, well, have you never had a white macadamia nut cookie? I don't think so. I'm not like super big on nuts. Oh, nuts. No, honestly, I've become like, like the older I get, the, the less and less like stoked I get on like sweets. Like I like 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 things that are like sort of sweet or um i just don't want like a shit ton of sugar i i try and be like good about it and not go overboard but yeah okay true dog i will say that like like the uh, what's the? Um, I don't. It's not. I don't think it's Frere Rocher, but the maybe the like the the chocolates where it's like the chocolate. Um, oh, I'm blinking on so many words. Like the chocolate casing, and it has like the filling inside. And it's like the fancy, expensive chocolates. Um, the i i remember having like being given like some the white chocolate version of those that that was pretty good that was pretty good no it's not that it's not that um yeah trashy i've been i've been making that for a while now and i've just been like refining it in re refining it um so that's like And uh, me, I'm gonna Google fancy chocolate and see what <laughs> comes up. Lindor, it's Lindor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Those. Those that I, the the white I've had a white chocolate one of those that was pretty good. I'll give you that one. Toblerone is your favorite chocolate. I had a Toblerone for the first time recently, and uh, funnily enough, it was from Canada. Hmm. Was it any different? Although, if you've only had it. Yeah, I don't think it was any different. Probably but not. It was. I uh, love I love the meme where it's like. You see the box for Toblerone, and you're like, "That's a that's a that's a fucked up shape." And then you open it up, it's and like, it's like this an is even more fucked up shape. What the yeah, fuck? I love that. Like you'll never guess what kind of shape this is. Uh, I'm fucking fucked up. The orange and spicy lint. Ooh, no, slash I, lint I chocolate. I don't surprisingly like... I I've never had that. I've never tried that. I, I mean I would try that. I'm not a huge fan of like when 
uh, making chocolate fruit flavored though. No, I, I'm not a, yeah. Although I did go to um, Boba Baba the other day with um, Sarah and they had Ochi Donuts. Oh yeah, okay. The, like with the little, like it's like eight little balls. Yeah. Whatever. That was actually pretty good. And it was like dragon fruit flavored or, or passion fruit. I don't remember, but it was good. Best ice cream brand? Oh, uh, okay. Now, this might be a little like. All I want, and I can't find a place that really does it, all I want is soft serve. I just want the, the, I just want regular soft serve, like the, like the zebra cone, like the stripe, like the chocolate and vanilla on a cake cone. It's not the best. That's not what I'm saying. Okay. That's okay. I just want it. I you haven't had it, it in hey. so long. And I just, I'm going to throw this at the TV if I can't find it soon. Hey, you know what? Bounty halls. You can pay with your the dining hall on state campus. Oh. You can you can pay with your credit card. That's the thing. We had a soft serve machine at our at our dining halls, and hey. it was again not the best. It was just get you some Howling Cow. Yeah, what? Howling Cow. That's Howling the cow. that's the name of the NC State ice cream. Uh -huh. So so NC State has the um, you know it used to be a very agri agricultural school, and um, they have the like veterinary program. Uh, and they have like, they have their own cows and they actually use the cows to make like products, dairy products. Um, and so like in the dining halls, you can get like, you know, uh, I don't know if it's howling cow or, or what, but you get the like, um, uh, like chocolate milk and the milk, and then you get the Helen Cow ice cream is the is the brand of uh, ice cream. Um, They're from Ukraine. What's up, Eugene? Cotton mushroom, peace, love everyone. Hell yeah. Lele Koa. Well, welcome in. Hello, hello. Um, cool to see someone from Ukraine in here. Yeah, but yeah, no. Helen Cow ice cream, dude. Okay, listen. They have old strong. They What's have old? cookie dough flavor, and they have a flavor called Campfire Delight, where um, it's it's uh, it has like graham cracker and like chocolate um, chunks in it. Okay. Um, but the ice cream is like it's s'more flavored, but it has like this smoky taste to it. I it, it's describing it is not going to do it justice sure you have to taste it dude mixing the cookie dough with the campfire delight oh oh so good that oh it's so like oh i just oh, making you act up no. dude you thinking about it is making me act up you, you do seem more excited than normal <laughs> dude <laughs> ah, how okay? Show them your O face, Ryan. Give ah. me, give me some Howling Cow right now. I'll do it. It's <laughs> we'll comply. Uh, but you know, Howling Cow. Go to cow, the gas station to get chocolate now. Obviously, Howling Cow is not widely available, and so you know, Ben and Jerry's. I enjoy me at some Ben and Jerry's. You just finished. <laughs> oh dear, Neptune. <laughs> Uh, that Mofi cake. Mofi, what's up? You really love mint chocolate chip. Uh, might be the brand you're getting, but lately it tastes like toothpaste. Yeah, yeah that's I, why I don't really like mint flavored stuff. That that's one of those ones where used to I would be like, "You gross, get away from me." But now I'm kind of coming around. It's like okay. I've really been trying not to say "you" to the things that people like. Like if someone. Brings up something I don't like. I really try not to say like, "Ew, oh my god, you like." Well, that. I'm just saying like, not not like that sense, but like if we're like at like, um, a buffet or something, yeah. and they have like mint chocolate chip ice cream, I would like never choose that. Yeah, I think that's still true, but like I would think about it now. Is basically what I'm trying to say. 
You gotta be careful with the ice cream and your lactose intolerance. I was I was reminded recently that I have a friend that has is is lactose intolerant, but will is not afraid to order a cheese pizza. <laughs> um, gosh, one like and, and he loves to troll. And like one time he was at my house and did he eat cheese and then fart all over you? No, we were all ordering pizzas, and he got. He got extra, he got like the max amount of cheese that they would allow. Ah. And then got like, uh, like the extra cheese toppings that they allow on there. But why? And it was, dude, it was so bad. It was like a thick layer of cheese. Oh. It... Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Your boyfriend is the same way. He'll eat an entire quart of ice cream in one go and be up half the night. Ugh. What's the max amount of builds you do in one day? Um, like we don't really have a max amount. It's just the like what? The most we've done in a day, I think right now is three. Yeah, currently the most we've done in a day is three. In a past life. Uh, 28. Is it really? I don't know how that would. It was 28. Seven per person. Yeah, in a past life at Redacted, it was regularly doing 20 plus in a day. Yeah, that was four builders averaging like. Does Sherbert have dairy? That is a good question. I thought Sherbert, I, is it Sherbert? I think it's Sherbet. Serve it. I'm not saying Google that. it. I don't care. Hurt. As long as you know. Or are you going to refuse to acknowledge it? No, I'll, I've never heard that in my life. I'll acknowledge it, but I'm not saying that. Uh, I was having some fun with Robin's PC. Ah. Just playing some 1440p Tarkov. And Ooh. the most it hit was 75. On a CPU? Very cool. Excellent. Then, most of the P cores hit 5.8. Holy shit. And the maximum voltage was 1.43. Okay, that sounds about right. Yeah. That's a that's a good Ben CPU. Um Balls between sorbet and ice cream includes dairy ingredients in small amounts. Okay. Gelato greater than ice cream. Now, okay. What? I what is gelato? Uh, I think it has like a little more eggy in it. Okay, um, that sound that you know you say you saying that yeah, that sounds. Good. Eggy. Um. Now, don't get me wrong, gelato is great. And whenever I went to Italy, I had a lot of gelato. It was great. I don't, I don't know that it was necessarily, I don't know. I didn't love it as much as other people. Um, like I, I'm not getting as excited for gelato as I just did for Howling Cow. You know? <laughs> Man, throwing that out there. Um, you know what we haven't had in a while is a white griffin. Yeah. It's a black ribbon. Oh, okay. Uh, artisanal gelato in Italy generally contains six to nine percent butter fat, which is lower than other styles of frozen dessert. Gelato typically contains thirty-five percent air, substantially less than American style ice cream, and more flavoring than other kinds of frozen desserts, giving it a density and richness that distinguishes it from other ice creams. Maybe. All right, let's turn this bitch on. Oh, and egg yolks, it has optional in there. Cool. So the eggy is That's optional. <laughs> Kids and wife like going to this rolled ice cream place. I, yeah. 
dude, like the rolled ice cream is always something that I want to get and then I just never can get. Go to the one on uh, Morgan Street. Yeah, Morgan Street Food Hall. Yeah. I always get like hibachi and then just go. Oh, I went there the <laughs> other day. Uh, weekend and I went to the chicken sandwich place. Oh, it was so good. There's a lot of good restaurants. Cow bar was a little expensive. It was a good burger, but like the fries, I think I got like the garlic Parmesan fries and it was like chunks of garlic and like too much Parmesan cheese. It was not a good experience. I thought I bought you, please. Ready for a clip? Yeah, let's do it. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Ready? Yes. All right. This is, uh... Uh, this is 11.50 in three, two, one. Whoa. Oh, pretty RGB. lights. <laughs> RGB. Yeah, now we're back to RGB. our regularly scheduled rainbow puke. RGB. Unicorn. Ta-da. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, my. The more I see that card, the more I like it. Mm-hmm. Rainbow pukes, yes. Yes. Let's go. Ga -ga! Ah! 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 They come in with them like wings, bird mask. Like, uh, like in It's Always Sunny. Like, no, like. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we've seen the customer in chat, unfortunately, no. Oh. It happens. This is the weekday, so people do work. Normal work. people work. <laughs> uh. this, isn't, this isn't a real job. <laughs> oh, wait, is Siv in here? Oh, that guy is working right now. <laughs> Yo. Hey, what's up, Siv? Hinged front door. You got a panel here. Very stiff. And then you got a... Eh. Panel here. Or trying to most of our cases have a hinge door now, but these some more higher end cases of Yeah. Corsair seven thousand D. Oh. <laughs> Not that high end. Yeah. Not that obnoxious. <laughs> too big, too big. <laughs> Something that doesn't have careful lifting and pack or stickers on Yes, the yeah. Came here for the ice cream, stayed for the cranny. <laughs> That door, unlike me, is so hinged. Uh, Woo. Need wireless PCs. That, that sounds uh, Asus has a re well, retail model uh, available of a, I think the Tough, uh, probably a 760M model, uh, where all the connectors are on the back. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it'll it'll only work in a certain case. I'm pretty sure. Isn't that like the ripoff of the like? Didn't EV EVGA do that? No, I think that was Asus first. I don't know. It could be EVGA. Who knows? They do weird stuff too. They both fight over who's first. Yeah. Try to put out who who's gonna put out the better product, guys? God, so wouldn't it be hilarious if you both made a quality motherboard? Wow, so funny. And then just fought over the price, so it got so low. So low. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I remember seeing, because I, I also saw the, like, um, headline or whatever of, like, Asus doing it. God, I see they've copied the EVGA, like, Project Stealth or whatever it was called. 
Boom. What's up? What's up, spider? All right, we got a wyvern today. I haven't seen one of them in a while. Me. NZXT. Spoiler. Wait, no. No, that's not it. Gigabyte Project Stealth. Is this what I think yeah. it is? Pee pee. Yeah. Okay. I think it. I think it was Gigabyte. I think it was Gigabyte Project Stealth. And it was. A, it was the exact same way. You had to have a certain uh, case, otherwise it wouldn't work. But case, case only. Yeah. Like they they made a case yeah. for it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, how else are you gonna have? Um, although, let me see. Oh, hello. Eh. What's up, Christy? Like Destiny World first thing. What? We're doing some like Destiny World first thing. Ah, uh, okay. hmm. I, but yeah, I think I think the I think I originally saw like uh, Jay's Two Cents did like a video on it. Especially because the next build is big. Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> Wells needs a snack or he get hangy. Mm hmm Do, 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 do. What a piece. What? Three devs. I got two more. We love leftover food. Are the teeth marks still in it or honestly I love finishing people's food like when we're out at restaurants and if I'm like trying to like save money or whatever and I don't get a whole lot of food but then someone's like does anybody want this I'm like hell yeah I do you're like are, are you gonna eat that are you gonna eat that because I will <laughs> like the person behind you in the booth <laughs> are you gonna eat that What really pisses me off is that when people leave on like eating food, um, and you can't can't just take it. Like if they've paid and left, you should be able to go and like. And if you're also a paying customer, only if you're a paying customer. Does that make sense? Like I don't want to eat after people, but you sometimes don't. I see like a thing of like how like I'll be at like a diner and there's like a thing of. Uh, there's like a thing of hash browns or something that someone hasn't finished. I don't know why. But you don't know what they and, ate before that. They took a bite of it. Um, what if they ate some like dog ass. shit or something before? Eat, eat some booty hole? They just picked up like a piece of dog shit and ate it right before they came. I've commissioned a V. Wait, I see untouched food. The intrinsic food is like, yo, like, yeah, like, gimme, 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 gimme. That's the thing is like, what if they had diseases? You just gotta like, make sure, I guess you vet, like you look at the person beforehand. Like you can't always tell, like what if they've got super gonocephalids or something. And <laughs> Isn't the mouth like uh, <laughs> three times more nasty than like the butt? <laughs> oh yeah. Um, 
You commissioned a VTuber man. I don't know. You need a, I, your Twitch name. Doesn't have your real name in your Twitch handle. If they look, if they look, kind of like rasty. We don't need the food, but like you can't tell. Like that's the thing. It's like you can't. That's that's something that you definitely couldn't like judge based on appearance. Uh. It sucks because you already have a really good name. Could you not just do Fox Blades? If the VTuber. <laughs> uh, Very Steve. Girth, what? Man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and watch that stream. Fox, but you could just do Fox Blades. Girth, our beloved. <laughs> what the fuck? Ooh, two two terabyte drives, thirty two gigs of six thousand, and a new motherboard. Where to God, that Z seven ninety Tomahawk doesn't accept thirteenth gen. Oh, blades. Oh, blades. Why is this motherboard or this good power supply box so fucking big? This definitely is Get getting some specs. This is definitely getting good. broken down. Turn will take. Um. I think everything's gonna have to go in the motherboard box for this one. Eleven fifty one. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. A wyvern, a six fan um, wyvern. Two two uh, two two terabyte drives. I don't know why, but that faux fox just reminded me of that really old Clint Eastwood movie, Firefox. Is that oh. felt like some Russian like supersonic jet and had to fly it home. The fuck? That's a pretty sick movie. Oh. These are some. That's some big foam. Um, oh, exciting news. I squatted 300 for uh, 300 pounds twice yesterday. I just heard you and I heard swatted instead of squatted. squatted? Yeah, I went and up I to someone really who was squatting 300 pounds and I swatted them. I thought, oh, I was thinking more like Call it like SWAT is in like calling the SWAT team. I was like, okay. yeah, yes, I swatted the gym. <laughs> Funny because their RGB version looks exactly the same. They just put RGB. Yeah. <laughs> to my only toes is payment. Oh, I don't like that. No yeah. shooting ice is bad, but I love Chick-fil-A ice. Is it the small ones? Those are probably fine. It's probably like the solid pieces of ice. But yeah, I like I like small ice like that. Look how used to have that. Yeah. I just I just don't like oh, ice. Damn it, I want cookout. I don't like ice and soda. You don't like ice and soda? No. You gotta it, drink it faster or else it dilutes it. Yeah, exactly. And usually it stays cold enough where it's like it's As long as you're drinking it quickly. Cause like Oh, that should be. Oh, my. Oh, wow, we walk. Oh, wow, wow, we walk. And nice. it's black. It's ATX got, it's got the 16 pin. 12 pin. I don't know why. I've, it's like 12 plus 4. 12 flipped into 16. <laughs> um, oh, it, it's 16 pin because it's got the 4 cents pins. That's right. Oh, yeah, 12 plus 12 8 plus minus 4. 2. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Listen. Okay, we're not trying to create the next uh, Kingdom Hearts title. It's fine. Oh, but this is going to be so nice. Make that trend. Oh, it's got a 12 plus 8 minus 2 cable. <laughs> Cross 918. Oh. Uh, well, we're glad you appreciate. Thank you very much for uh, buying. It's uh, always nice to build for people. Yeah, thanks so much. And uh, you have a sick build. It's going to be a lot of fun. Updating the spec list. That was the, were they the siren? Were they the siren or they this build? Watched it. Where, they watched it. Uh, it well, nice all builds are that, sick builds, so. I'm assuming you're 1150. Or 1150. 
rad. It's okay if you don't type in chat, we just want you to watch. Yeah. It's a little bit uh, fun whenever people do uh, type in chat, but not, not, it's not for everybody. Not necessary. It's uh, fine. I, I like, thank you, thank you, Quasi. We're very glad you like to watch. Yo. No, there's nothing wrong with watching. I love when customers watching. ask for a signature for shipping. That means it's definitely not fraud. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I think I think that should be good for the specs. Um What? Ass fingers. They said ass fingers is like oh. <laughs> Want your PC signed? Well, I sign with my butt cheeks. We can so. do that. Yeah, we got paint pens. We're gonna rival all over Patrick's butt and then he's gonna plaster it to the back panel. Get some children's like finger paint and just. Please never give me that image in my head again. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's the only time you need to hear it. I'm gonna nice. buy a PC right now for that. Fuck yeah. It's a truly one of a kind experience. Probably a silly edition. question. Would it be legal to offer that? Like Probably you know, not. Is that probably some sort of like, like health code violation? Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> we could just have you wear like, we'll just like put plastic wrap over your butt, like cling wrap over your butt. Oh. That's, there oh. you go. So, uh, I actually did that in college. <laughs> They're painting all the dorm doors. Oh no. And I went and did that to my friend's door. He just had butt cheeks in his door. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Had a painted them like gray, so I had like a gray butt for like. I just walk by and see some butt cheeks. <laughs> Gave boyfriend really cool paper shorts at the orthopedic doctor yesterday. They looked like bloomers. That's funny. Good luck at work. Have fun. Work. What server is that? <laughs> Is that a new Discord uh, server? Is that a Steam mod? Tommy Hawk. Do you think we'll ever get anyone asking for like a S Q? S tier? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. Oof. Uh, right. Well, now the 13900KS is more of a fucking and server I know. processor. That's why I want someone to order. Like, that, uh, I think it's so cool. That thing that powers Iron Man suit. Jarvis? Oh, yeah. No, the little. The, um, oh, regular. arc reactor. Re yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I need that to power it. God damn. Dagnabbit. First time looking up Skyrim mods, you know how hard it is to find stream-friendly mods? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, We've learned anything. People are perverts. Titties. <laughs> uh, NXR mods. One watch NXR mods. I think, I think still doing that, though. Hey.
Or he's mad because he got bamboozled by bits. Oh boy. Still doing it? Yeah. Remember when they did the 4K texture mod and then literally like a year later, they re released Skyrim like remastered? Yep. <laughs> The community in a lot of instances is so much better than like most game developers by getting that stuff out fast. IRL cock check. What? Nah. Huh? Nah. I don't know about that y one. Yeah, maybe not. You know, um, the new history of the world part two. Uh, oh, Brooks, it's like his last. No. I like nine. There's something about a cock check? Yeah. They do like basically like different times in history. One was like Thomas Edison is a telephone. Okay. And like they tested the telephone and it worked. Two offices or whatever. And then uh, guy's like, I guess he, he's prank calling him. But he's pretending like he's his mom, his dead mom. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he's like, let me see that. <laughs> what? Fastest way to speed run a TOS ban. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go with you. Yeah. What Brooks is it? What else has he done? Nothing. Most There's... notably, you probably know his face balls. Okay, yeah, and then, uh, do you do Blazing Saddles as well? Yep. Taking. Robin Hood Men in Tights. Darn it. Follows the flame. Yeah, I also am curious about the actual construction of it, too. It's good. Good box. Robin Hood Men in Tights? Yeah. Oh boy. That's that was a big like. Fan. Boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Robin Hood Men in Tights, Dave Chappelle's first appearance? What? Might have been. But he is looking old now. He was, uh. His dad was. A sneeze. And then Dave Chappelle's name was a chew. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, he's like calling, like, achoo! And everyone's like, bless you! I love stupid humor. All volt high power, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Wait, man. that's... Oh, you weirdos. What? Oh, I forgot about Blinken, dude. There's a blind guy named Blinken. What? <laughs> everyone's like, they're like, hey, Blinken! Like, Did you just say, hey, Blinken? Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, Blinken's a man. He's so funny. Hmm. What are you humming at? I'm just... They have uh, CPU and PCIe is like the same pinout. Uh, yeah, a lot of them do. Really? Yeah. The last... Um... Uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, Enermax does that as well. Oh, I think most of them do it. It's just it's just the cable that goes like to the end. It. Oh. Cable at the end is, I think, pinned a little differently. Oh, Men in Tights is only a 93 film. When did Nutty Professor come out? Is that Six. Fun of Eddie Murphy for being fat, yeah, hot girlfriend or whatever. Thirty. Just, yeah, if it still works. 
I had a dream that I found like a like Star Wars first edition um, uh, of the Phantom Menace in VHS. Oh. Oh. Jar Jar blinks. <laughs> I like. I really like the prequels, but fuck Jar Jar, so annoying. <laughs> this is an IQ. What? Get your computer. Antique place that sells a stupid amount of working tapes. Huh. Yeah, I, I used to watch all these movies because I a lot of my family lived in Florida. So when I was little, we had like a one of those big like conversion vans with the TV and VCR mm -hmm. and stuff. So me and my sister would just watch that shit when my parents drove like 14 hours. Yeah. And we did that like multiple times a year, so. Huh. Watched a lot of movies. Oh wow, that was fast. <laughs> oh, the fox. <laughs> Yikes. Well, now that you're, now that you're already, uh, no changes for the next 60 days. Really? That little? I thought they would make them longer than that. Uh, you said you commissioned the model. Do you have like a timeline on when it, when, when you'll get it? Commissioned it a while ago. It's about halfway done. Oh, okay. I wonder if it's hard, like designing YouTuber model. YouTuber models. A full 3D with custom, oh, yeah. like custom appearance. Pretty time consuming. And it, yeah, like, I, I feel know. like it has to be difficult just because of how long it takes for like new models to be made. Bears and... Ugh. There's probably like a, like, I'm sure there's like a template, but it's probably just for like, like a, it's a, probably, if I had to guess, it's probably like a wireframe or a 2D. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Fighting for the name Rudog on Twitch is going to be your lifelong battle. Yeah. Those 3D ones must take some work. That oh, might yeah. that might be me on YouTube fighting for cool round. I guess what are they called? Are they just like avatars? Models? Actual fox, not a human. Um I think they're just called models. What's up, Trashy? Fuzzy cartoon fox. Could get disarray with no numbers, uh, but at this point, everything else has the numbers in it. Yeah. 3D costs between 1,500 and 15,000. What? Yeah, I mean, I mean, think about it. Like, it's not. Especially if it's fully, I'm sure if it's fully custom, if it, if it looks like you and it like tracks like you. Maybe. I never said anything about going live the other day. I said it in stream and I um, posted in the uh, flock live and I posted on Twitter. I think. Unless I didn't hit send or something. I will be streaming Diablo 4. I just don't know if I'm going to do it on Phoenix PC or that account. I thought about putting it in general, but then I was like, that's kind of like unfair to the flock to members. Just to get the out. Um, that's why I posted it in like flock member live. Double for a uh, open beta, I guess. Um, did you buy the uh, did you buy the KFC double down? Uh, yeah. 
We were joking about that. What was it last night? Yeah. That article that came out saying if you buy a KFC double down sandwich or whatever. Yeah. Which is like their chicken sandwich, but you replace. But you replace the uh, Tyrell with the prime thing. So red much, with two pieces of chicken. <laughs> also, what's up, Tyrell? I, I forgot to say hi. I posted that in our company Discord last night, Rudog, and I said, "That's the most American thing I've heard all year." I mean, that's disgusting. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna like. I'm gonna try and post on uh, Twitter whenever I do go live. Double down sandwich. How much was that sandwich? I don't know how much those are, but they're it was delicious, worth all the pain. I I gen like I see that and I genuinely like want eleven to do that. Fuck, pretty good. It is eleven bucks for what, like three pieces of chicken. Wait, is it really three? I think it's, I don't, I don't remember, but I know that the bread is chicken. I forget what's yeah, in between. Yeah, the bread and just made a sandwich. Two, Two pieces of chicken, pieces. okay. What's in yeah. between them? Is it like bacon and cheese? Like, think bacon, cheese, and sauce. Oh no. <laughs> bacon and cheese and sauce, oh my. <laughs> yeah, because it's basically like a sandwich, but. Oh my God, let me see a picture of that. Dude, that would probably kill enhance. Me. Come on, what the? Right. Zoom in the pants. Yeah, that would destroy my butt if I ate it. Ooh. Post a pic in Discord, please do. I want it. Let's do that. For I the want bang. it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't do KFC for the mukbang. I remember Phoenix. I had KFC right before the uh, the trooper thing, and I was like burping and like <laughs> making noises and. Oh, it was so gross. We can do the Phoenix PC double down. <laughs> Jarvis, show me a picture of his food. That's a that's, that's a reference to Eric Andre, right? Like Jarvis, show no. me a picture of this guy's uh, junk. No, it's Google. Show me a picture of this guy's balls. Oh, okay. <laughs> Google, show me this guy's balls. Yeah. So, honestly, the biggest holdup is we just need to get together and figure out what the what the four cuisines are going to be. I mean, I guess and we could do that to get now. everybody to do it, or is it just going to be us? Or I think the idea is we would try and get everyone in. Because we are not good at scheduling. We're not good at scheduling, but I think we make an effort to get everyone. Be like a build day, or just like a night, or what? I don't want to do that on a build day. Yeah, I think this would be like in like its own stream. If we could do it like dev stream and he can just do a little commentator. Uh that would that would be funny having uh devs like commentating. <laughs> His food is Marika. Jesus, what is that? KFC. <laughs> like me knowing Tyrell, that's that's kind of concerning. Not oh KFC, that's Marika. Oh boy, that's. You ate that? <laughs> that's a. Uh, that doesn't look. Cr that doesn't look the same. Oh, that looks so sad. That looks very sad. Arcblade, what's up? Howdy. It was a mouthful? Dude, that. And it's like, it's so sad with the bacon, like, on top, like. You know it. You know it fell out and then got up there and. Just imagine like eating that on a build day and then like, thirty minutes later, Wells is running like holding his butt like out the door. Like no 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 no. Oh not again. I did almost poop on Monday during deadlifts. I think, I think for the mukbang, I think a very, uh, easy and, um, good option would be like, Chipotle because we get Chipotle catering. Yeah. Hey, Tyrell gifting a sub to the community. Thank you so Whoa. much, Tyrell. Hey. Hey. Give a sub to Pastalo. 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 How's everybody doing today? Doing pretty good. It's uh, been a nice, nice Friday. 
It is Friday. It is Friday. Yeah. You know what that means? Weekend. Weekend. Today's still Monday? Yeah. Um. Yeah, what if we did like Chipotle? We could... I like ideally we should get we should pick places where we can get catering from, right? Cause... We could do Chick fil A. Have catering. Yeah. Chick fil A is good. I'll downplay the weekend I need. That's. Today's your Monday though? Oof. Yeah. Kind of brings back memories of, uh, back, dude. Yeah. I'm so glad I did not take that schedule. Like, the, the pay awesome. would have been nice, but, oh. It wasn't bad. I mean, well, because all my friends are off on the weekend. I that's the thing that sucked about it, yeah. Yeah, I never would have seen them. That was new, I... Days. Weekend for Dragonfly. Man, every time I see... I was just like... Yeah, I'm glad I didn't play that. Such a different game. Yeah, see that's... Oh man, like... Never... I was searching for like a, a job in the meantime uh, recently. Like... Why is it so hard finding a nice like nine to five day to Friday? Right. Well, so people driving around right now, they don't work nine to five. Probably because it's so hard to get one. Or it's full of traffic jams at like two p.m. Well, especially around because all it's these just freaking people all that the fucking weird time. hours. Dude, here is not that bad. Go to like North Raleigh. Oh my god. Yeah. No one works over there. Everyone's just driving around all day. Play from Burning Crusade to Cataclysm, set it down, haven't picked it back up. I played Classic till Pass. No, I played Cataclysm. And after that, I think I quit. One of them. Skip the panda one, cause, and that's gonna be dumb. <laughs> Any competition to win a uh, X670E, a 7900 X3D, and 32 gigabyte DDR5 RAM? Oh. That's crazy. Good luck. So. So we could do uh, Chipotle, could do Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. um, hey, what's up? What I feel like that would be a duplicate of like Chipotle. But Mo's, no, Mo's is not as good. Pat, is that you? It is. Um, Howdy. I think I think we should try and get different cuisines. We shouldn't have uh, like double ups of cuisines. What do you mean? We should just get really shit food. Oh, like of the of the options. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. So like Chick Fil A, I would consider like American. So we would. You see, it's Pizza Hut. <laughs> get trash food. But like like Chick Fil A, I don't know if we want to like separate it that between like nationalities like um like yeah if we did chick-fil-a we definitely wouldn't have like kfc but would that mean uh no other fast food oh i think so popeyes the last time i've been to a popeyes i'd be down for popeyes if ever but that would, re I feel like that would replace uh, Chick fil A. I think I'd rather do Chick fil A than Pizza Hut the best. What? No. Y'all doing it with fast food? I think, I don't think it necessarily has to be fast food. I think it just has to, I think it just has to have catering. 
Pizza Hut. Oh, it's gone downhill. Now, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like pizza would be kind of... Pizza's, I don't want to eat that Every much time cheese. I eat pizza Hut now, I get like acid reflux. Ew. I get so much grease. I feel like it'd be kind of lame for... Uh, yeah. Oh. Cajun Creole. Yeah. Um, oh, nothing too spicy. Not because I don't want to eat the spice. I just don't want it coming out the other end. I mean, it's it is it is like something that we've been building up to for like. That's fine. I just don't want. I just don't want. Like, I like Cajun stuff. I just don't want to eat a shit ton of it. I like. Can't. Yeah, like, I agree, like, it shouldn't be, like, super spicy, but, like, it's just, like, like... No, 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 it's, it's not the, it's not the spice that I have an issue with, it's the amount of food that is gonna have the spice on it, that is then gonna come out my other end. God. Go full curry. Dude, I'd be down for that. No. <laughs> We can get the uh, 20 pack of tacos from Taco Bell. <laughs> uh. Okie dokie. Eat my butt to burn until I know I'm still alive. <laughs> what? Hmm. Donald's thousand chicken nuggets? Holy. Mm, maybe not. Like your digestive tract would just stop. Get some Carolina Reaper wings easy. Oh, can't do something. Is it you don't like the Love. spice or you just don't like what it does to you? Both. Okay. I don't like being in pain when I eat something and I don't like being in pain. Yeah. Olive Garden? Okay, that's not a bad idea. That's not a horrible Dude, idea. Dude, Olive Garden, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Unlimited soup and salad or oh, whatever it is. Oh, because they do have the uh, lunch portions now. They're like half size of the lunch. They have unlimited breadsticks. I don't think that's a weekend thing. That's how I feel about Quasi, but I don't think that uh, they're going to agree to that. To what? It's a mukbang, health concerns kind of don't apply, yeah. Well, we need to be kind of careful. Like, I can eat shitty food as long as it's in moderation. I have the stomach of a three-year-old. Last time you had Reaper wings, you were pleading for your life the next day? <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, it is It is supposed to be no, 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 an no, 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 no. insane amount of food. Push-ups. Okay. Push, you push up. I push. Okay, so some sort of like taco burrito, some sort of uh, like chicken fast food, and Italian, most likely Olive Garden. Well, if you want spicy, if you want spicy, we can just get some uh, hot ones. No, please. <laughs> no, thank you. Then whoever wants spicy just puts it on. Uh, would you guys rather have Lost Planet Sunk Pizza, Dad, or Infinite Pizza Mom? What? I'm not sure I yeah. understand. Habanero wings or bus? Dude, Sonic Corn Dogs would be a good idea, but on the 50 cent days. Oh my god. You get an absurd amount of food. Simple question? I don't understand. <laughs> wing stoppers? Hey, you I think know, there is a wing stopper. Honestly, I don't like I shouldn't say I don't like wings. Wings are not my first choice. Like, I don't know why people like I like chicken. I like chicken on the wings, bone. Like, you don't like to get messy when you eat? I mean, I don't know. It's just like everyone's like, "Oh my god, let's make wings." Or like, "Let's go get wings." And it's like, like I don't really want 
The best thing about want. Wing House is when everyone leaves, there's like a four-year-old because they have a sauce <laughs> all over their face. <laughs> I, like, don't get me I like wings and I like eating like chicken off the bone. I think that's a lot of like, there's a, like an aspect of fun to it. But I don't know, I just don't. Yeah. That's I, just like not my like go-to, I guess I should say. I don't really know how to put it, right? Because they're not, they're not bad, but they're not. Yeah, I like hot food, but I also like tasting my other food after a few bites. Exactly. Pie rub wings are the best food in the world, unfollowed. No, like if anyone if, like anyone who likes that super hot shit is bordering like psychosis. Ah, <sighs> garlic uh, parm sauce. That, like, yeah, that's good. Like if you have to make a YouTube video saying you're eating the hottest shit in the world, you're bordering psychosis. Oh, I can feel the. I can feel my pulse in my temples after that. Like, I, I if if. If someone was like, hey, like, let's go get wings, and then, like, easier to order, like, regular, a bunch of, like, regular wings or something like that, I would be down for that, but it's just, like, if it's, if the ball is in my court, if it's my preference, I'm going bone wings. I, like, I feel like, also, like, hot stuff has, it has taste, but it's, like, Ramen, dude, you think we could do a ramen? No, muffin? I'm not eating that much ramen. I can barely get through two packs of like regular ramen. But like, but yeah, I gotta, dude, I'm telling you, I was, I was ready if for- I'm gonna uh, eat a shit ton of food, I want it to be like substantial food. Like warheads. <laughs> All the skins like sloughing <laughs> off after the first day. On mukbang. Uh, I think that makes a lot of sense though, Amy, because uh, like I've noticed that like as soon as you put like a really hot pepper and like sort of like sauce or, or something or like broth, I would put it in the same way, you know, it dilutes it enough. I'd be down to try that. That sounds, that sounds Goes on its back. Okay. They put up a big list of ideas, like twenty things. We're down to like ten. Yeah, we could do that. Could collect. Well, for our. I feel like the old. We could do like tournament style. Olive Garden like breadsticks and pasta. And Olive Garden would be kind of be a good one. Yeah, you mentioned that on uh, Wednesday. Yeah. Um, Weird. Modern Warfare also isn't the most optimized game. Yeah, but, but it might have gotten better. It's been out for a hot sec. They were getting like FPS or something. Oh, a 1080p maybe. Yeah, that's weird. It was it was really weird. Like it, like too low. P. What I've been seeing, uh, Battlefield 2042 got some like, optimization. Yeah, didn't they like bring back uh, classes too or something? Know anything about pallet because it's not common in the NA market. So. Yep. Actually, that is a really good question. Only in uh, okay, it's just in WP. Yeah, that, it sounds like it's with MWP. 
Uh, play with your settings. Play around with your settings. Um, I'm sure you already have, but it might be like, you might have some fucking weird ass setting on. I don't know. Shadows Ultra or something. <laughs> Which shouldn't be or, an issue, but. Is there like a rendering uh, slider on that? Like... Oh, yeah. Make sure that you're not rendering at a uh, higher resolution than you're playing at. Games I had like, some issues with that. Games have a slider for like 100%, you go like 200%. Yeah. Craps on your system. <laughs> the first Modern Warfare would do that to me, <laughs> and I'd be at like 15 FPS in the lobby, and I'm like, what the fuck's going on here? The way I fixed it on YouTube was the an uninstaller tool. Well, <laughs> that's fucking That old. is an option. You hate to see it. You love to hear it. Not good with adjusting your settings. Yeah, uh, like so that might just, be another reason to double check. Just like look in your um, uh, like search bar or whatever. Nvidia, uh, game ready or what is it? No, you want to look in um, in the actual game settings and look for a setting that is something like resolution, resolution scale and make sure it's at either, if you're playing at 1080p, make sure it's at 1080p, or make sure that it's at, you know, 100% and not 200% or like 150 or whatever. I'll use the NVIDIA. As long as they come with experience or whatever. Yeah. yeah. 1440p. Yeah, so make sure you're at 1440p. Um, and that your resolution scale is is correct. Yeah, I was thinking like GeForce experience just reset everything and go in and thing. Because it's only gonna be a couple of settings like ray trace. Make sure ray tracing is uh, set to a reasonable setting because that could be causing some some drag. At Hogwarts, it like destroys your it's like FPS. minus like thirty FPS. Yeah. I mean, most game settings have like a button where you just alt or everything. And yeah. Start over. Could see how your PC runs Hogwarts. It's so ugly. It doesn't sound good. If it's just that game, like one game, then it's probably not your GPU. Like, yeah. <clears throat> it would have to have some kind of like consistent. Hey. Maybe like worst case scenario, just reinstall the game. Sometimes like big updates could do something to it, I guess. I don't know. Corrupt something or. I mean, we were uh, setting the computer up what on Wednesday that needed like gigabytes uh, software and it just oh, yeah. would not load. And all we had to do was reinstall it. And then all of a sudden it was just running perfectly it was fucking weird one of these days i'm gonna have a minor annoyance and i'm gonna nuke windows and it's gonna feel so good yeah but then you gotta install everything yeah but uh the way i have everything set up literally all i'd have to reinstall is like oh steam discord i see okay like chrome you could do that like when i got viruses i would just nuke it and then install and it was fine but like i just haven't gotten a virus and like Ten years or something. I think Windows Defender got a way better. Yeah, what Disray said, resolution scaling, uh, something like that. Resolution, resolution scaling. Uninstaller. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> Quasi really said, uh, get good. Get a better game. <laughs> yeah.
There's a there's a trash can icon on your desktop. Just drag that over to the trash can. People that think that they've they delete the shortcut and they think they've removed <laughs> the program. Like if you do that, I'm sorry, but get gone. help. Problem's gone. Render resolutions at 100. All right. Um. Oh, boy. Why I'm here, I can't afford a PC, so I live vicariously through y'all. Bill says. Just, I'm just not a fan of the LSS. Almost like artificial FPS, like. Well, the DLSS 3.0 is pretty much artificial FPS. Like you're taking aspects and downgrading it to i don't know run higher frames the resolution is i never run dlss i will say in like um like forza motorsport it actually uh ends up being a pretty damn good anti-aliasing because it helps fill in a lot of those uh um if you have a lower end system i can i completely understand yeah that. for sure um i know you probably don't want to do this for like Scooter, but what about like uh, FPS? Like, you no, know, I know for me sometimes it would just it would just render way too many frames. If I put an FPS cap. What about buying a Phoenix PC? There was a guide saying that like. Um... If you're trying to get like a desired FPS. Well, this is back on like the one four days but now they have higher ones but like it limit it double your frame rate that you're i think i think arcblade actually did say something about that disray but like the it, it it literally sounds like it's just some sort of like issue that is very fixable as much as we would appreciate the order we're not trying to like convince people that they need a whole new PC just because something weird is happening. Especially with the 3080. Too, like... Who knows, it could be like a pallet, like, iOS or something. Like, no. Maybe. Uh, settings in the upscaling sharpening are Intel. What the heck? Well, I was just throwing it out there because I think we did talk about that on uh, Wednesday a little bit. So you don't need a, P a new PC? Well, I think we're a little bit late in the process to ask that question. I used to mess with my friends on like, Krakow because I'd like load in the game. Well, you know, if you had a Phoenix PC, like, <laughs> or they, like, they would get shit on by some other player. You had a Phoenix PC that wouldn't happen. <laughs> They're like, shut the up. <laughs> uh, really not a, really not an off option that you gave us. There should definitely be some way to turn it off. Cause... Don't know how to adjust. Yeah, that's fair. Um... The default. <laughs> Just go for it. Default settings. Yeah. Yeah, I. It's hard because. Let me let me Google like if there's like a resource that could give you some pointers on what to try out. Um, well, like you could even search um, 
I've done this before, uh, like best optimized or like, um, you know, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, 3080 best settings or something like that. The ones that say like Activision doesn't want you to know this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, especially if you put like Reddit afterwards, people aren't going to. Make sure you click the one with the thumbnail with the guy's jaw open and Activision doesn't want you to know. <laughs> okay, I'm 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 posting the first thing that came up whenever I googled basically what Will said. Uh And I can't remember, did you join the Discord Archblade? Maybe? Well, I hope, ideally you should be able to just mess with settings in the game and not have to mess with your actual GPU. Uh... Yeah, if, if that's the only game that it's doing it in, you probably don't need to futz with uh, the PC itself. Oh, do you have three cyberpower PCs in your house? How dare you? Okay, I just I just tagged you, Arcblade. Try try that out and let's see what what that does. Wasn't Nvidia saying they did have like really bad driver problems with the driver? There's, there's a message that pops up on uh, my wife's PC when she plays Hogwarts every time she opens it and it says like, there's a problem with this driver and it has the driver version and it's like, oh, newer one. Oops. Unfortunately, the thing that I sent you had, you kind of have to scroll down a bit. Um, like near the bottom. But yeah, it gives you display quality. Uh, gives you a ton of options. With the uh, table is just you. I think so. Yeah. Is that a cooler fan or a case fan? Uh, uh, case fan. I already get annoyed when you get the GeForce experience pop up every game. It's funny because sometimes I'll launch like something completely not a game and it'll pop up the GeForce. I, Notepad. I think, I'll open Notepad uh, and snipping or the snip tool. Yeah. yeah. That too is just like. I'm not. I'm not just using the sniffing tool. I'm game. I mean, I'm gaming. I'm gaming on the sniffing tool. Yeah, her trashy. Her version's like older. We just haven't updated it. Five one five or something. Five. Yeah, no problem, Arcblade. That's what we're here for. I saw a lot of articles recently about the whatever. Uh, yeah, make the display resolution your monitor. Sorry, I should I probably should have mentioned that. Um, God. I remember trying to run it at like 4K. <laughs> it's very possible. That'll definitely be destroying your frames. What was it on? I'm curious. Resolution well, I, I think, I think, I think the resolution was fine. And then I sent them this, and this has... Oh, oh yeah, it's 4K. Yeah. Um, let me see if there's anything else that might... Wait, so was the resolution at 4K? That one. This. Oh. Yeah, for the custom frame rate limit, put it at like... Honestly, maybe just to try it out, maybe like 90. 
Um, and if everything goes well, then maybe bump it up to like, uh, like 120 or something. Yeah, how many, uh, did they say how many frames, uh, or what hertz their uh, monitor is? What's your, what's your monitor go to? I it was 1440p, right? Yeah. Oh, probably like... I guess this shoe is Modern Warfare. Yeah, like we said, uh, Modern Warfare 2 is... Uh, Given people some issues. Robin's actually streaming right now. Hmm. Friday, so maybe he's just going late. Got a logo up on the stream. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Uh, just right. Technically, there is, I think, um, like, technically, it, it can be beneficial to render more frames than your monitor can display, but that's like getting into like min-maxing and like op like optimization, like getting the best performance. Especially, yeah, the best visual performance. That's like if you're doing like competitive, like, yeah, if you're on a pro team, yeah. Very true. For ninety percent of us, it doesn't matter. I just think it's interesting that, um, like the how how it works. Because for most people, the limit is the skill. Like, is your like, is like your skill to play the game. Whereas, like the professional players, like it very well could be that the hardware is limiting their like reaction. Heard it. You're not good enough to play one sixty five hertz. Yeah. It good. That's why, even though I'm playing on like an old TV, uh, that probably you know what hurts it is. Why I still have like my I put my like best cap at like for one twenty or something. People that are spending like lots of money on like. Yeah, do you know what the what the refresh rate is? Hundred sixty five megahertz. Okay. Well, it's just hertz, not big old big old hertz. Five jiggle hertz. It would be pretty crazy. One day. 
feel like you'd probably be hitting up on some kind of physical limit way before that, though. Probably. Although OLEDs have instantaneous uh, response times, so there's always the possibility that OLEDs pave the way for something like that. I have like 4K like contact lenses. Yeah. <laughs> That shit. Remember, if you think about going 4K, you're gonna need a really beefy computer, so I don't know what your specs are. 3080 right now? 3080's like... Not quite. It's like the minimum required specs for 4K probably. Yeah. to get like a 4k 165 like oh that a lot of games aren't gonna hit 165 yeah. Please don't put glue on my PC. Just for that, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> but like, not on the cables, just like everywhere else. Just for that, we're not gonna use hot glue. We're gonna use super, super like glue. This. Right. 5700X, uh, B550, 32 gigabytes, 32 gigahertz. Cool, cool. Cool. Obviously, oh, good storage. 240 IO, yeah. Yeah, I mean, everything else is okay, but just keep in mind for 4K, like, don't get your hopes up for over like 90 FPS. Bad GPU. Yeah. Four K. I'm not sure. Fifty seven hundred X should be fine, right? Yeah. It might. His like that might be your bottleneck, but like it's well, not gonna. Resolution sort of stops mattering, uh, or sorry, CPU performance sort of stops mattering as much at um, yeah. at higher resolutions because you're not pushing as high. A frame rate, so. Being 245 FPS now? On Modern Warfare 2? Yep, on Modern Warfare 2. 1440p. What, what happened? <laughs> what did you do? You clicked the thumbnail with the guy's jaw open, didn't you? Oh, no. I bet you did. I 
I actually can't quite remember what what even were the what like what even is the performance issues that we're trying to fix. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say like what was your FPS before? Did you said like sixty. I think I just threw that on my butt. I don't think they said that. I remember that uh, you were saying something about like wanting a new computer because your 38 wasn't performing enough. And then you dug into it and it's like, okay, that's a little bit like concerning oh, low, that. Uh, Do that stuff next week. You're looking to upgrade to make sure you didn't have to worry for a long time. Okay. One. Or we could just do. We have one Monday. Probably pop it up. Are you having that to Monday? Right now it's one Monday, one Wednesday, one Friday. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if if you feel like uh, you want a new PC, go for it. We'd love to build for you, but uh, do Friday actually. But also, don't feel like you need a new. It's okay to want stuff as long as you're like realistic with yourself. Thirty eighty, like you shouldn't have to change for a while if you're gonna do fourteen forty p. Yeah. You said yeah. you're trying to think about upgrading for four k, which if you do, you probably will think about upgrading your GPU. Thirty eighty will handle fourteen forty p for a while. Play stuff. You're going four k. Say it. We're probably forty eighty. Forty. Yeah, four k. I actually downgraded from 4K. I 1440p setup's nice. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it looks like almost as good. Uh, what size? Um, what were you on this 4K? What is this? 42? 32? It's 42. 42, and then your 1440p <laughs> is what? 32. Be using my 3080 at 1080p for maximum frame. Porgy, what's up? Howdy. I think 32 is a little stretch for 1440p. It's yeah, I had a I had a 32 inch 1440p monitor for a little while, and it was not quite it, but there are certainly worse resolutions. It looks pretty good though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I heard I'm old from number. Yeah, I think that's I, I think that's just uh what was um like raised a, a question mark was uh should be with that for a little while. The 1080 Ti 4K, like you're probably what 60 FPS. I mean, it's do 60 FPS probably.
I think most people playing 4K today are under, they're either at 60 or like a little under 120. Mm hmm. Other people saying that AM4 has come to the end of its cycle and got where you wouldn't get stuff for it anymore. Well, that is true. It's it's very unlikely they're going to release more AM4 CPUs. And I mean, they're on AM5s. Yeah, uh, 5700X, uh, you only have a very limited number of CPUs that you can upgrade to if you really uh, feel the need to. But at the same time, that 5700X could be fine for a little while. Anyways. Yeah. Oh, no. It's Lorky. not like next year you're going to be struggling. Lorky, your pump's dying? What's it doing? Making noise or just getting hot or what? Okay. The 5800X3D is still up there in performance with the latest processors, but better as an upgrade to older machines. Yeah. It would feel a little bit like eh, going from a 5700X to a 5800X3D. Uh, um, like, it is a jump, but like... You would likely see maybe like more consistent frame times and more consistent performance. Um, but you may not notice a super high, like, change in peak performance. And a CPU hitting over 100. North. Jesus. I wonder if, like, after a while, since if they can just get, like, um, Oh, on the pump? Yeah. Uh, maybe. What, like the impeller? Oh, okay. Maybe after a really long time. Long time yeah. I think you'd more likely see the motor burn out before that happens. Highest temp with your CPU is 74? Yeah, that's... Yeah. yeah. Have to wear it down. It only hits 74 when you're playing MW2. That's fine, though. Like, that's... 70, 74 as a max temperature is great. Everything's on hold until you get the new one in. That sucks. Is the 5700G still the best AMD processor with integrated graphics? Oh, I believe so. AMD probably, yeah. yeah with I'm integrated not, graphics. They I don't think. have uh, 7000 Gs, do they? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure. I don't know enough about <laughs> AMD to comment, really. I wonder what their uh, roadmap is. My twelve nine hundred KF gets uh probably like seventy things. My cat. Is it every time you turn the computer on? Computer's always on, but like, if I'm not using it, it gets cool, so my cat leaves. <laughs> but as soon as it heats up, my cat like, sells it or something. <laughs> you got an EKI AIO? Ooh, let, nice. me, let me know how that goes, Lorky, because uh, I was interested in them. He stopped making their uh, EK Basic, which is the like, full black, like the black block. Yeah. One, which is a bummer, because I would have loved that for... AMD does have a 7000 that's integrated. I'm, I'm checking now, because it feels like they should, right? Like Intel releasing only F. Yeah, I guess they just don't advertise. Like in the overclocker world, like you didn't want integrated graphics. Mm -hmm. it, it was a, it was another instability uh, factor, I guess. Oh. 
Um, guessing, I'm guessing we're rising with Radeon graphics would probably be the G. That Take on everything. Give me the information. Sometimes it's really annoying finding stuff. We are not in the age of information. We are in the age of information. This iteration. says all Ryzen 7000 chips have onboard RDNA 2. That sounds right. Yeah. How did I miss that information? I did not know that. Do like Intel and just give me a list of like all your CPUs sorted into generation and stuff. Yeah, I mean, onboard graphics today are just output a not supposed to game. Oh, integrated graphics. It goes pretty much for any chip. Today's games are just so demanding. You could probably play like Fortnite or CSGO or something. Like, yeah. Easy stuff. Minecraft. Okay, here we go. Uh, do, 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 do. Easy. IGPUs are good if you don't have a system to troubleshoot. Yeah. Swap your GPU <clears throat> into another PC tab or something. Plus, if you wanted to, like, have like an extra monitor or something and you'd only be using it for like YouTube yeah something I used to kind of do that with my SLI setup anyway like I had two cards but I would just didn't use SLI like I disabled it and I would bitch or whatever yeah I am glad that SLI is dead. It's the year, it helps me fight the urge to buy two GPUs. <laughs> that was cool. The 1% lows were astonishing. Yeah. Like, holy. The screen tearing. It was just like drop to zero. Uh, is the 7000 Ryzen CPUs better for gaming other than Intel? Oh boy. Um, I mean, Andy versus Intel. No, no, like, I feel like that it's kind of a interesting question because I do think not, that it's kind of mainly only just only factors, probably Intel and AMD. Uh, I mean, and the game too. Some I, games respond better to. It kind of feels like you just asked if seven thousand series is better than the five thousand series, and. gaming like yeah or budget those make that decision or someone's got a distinct answer somewhere
7800X 3D should be great in April, but it's not April yet. Let's see. Where's Nexus has to say? They don't shit all over it. <laughs> you all steamer on it. Fair enough. Graphics core count two. I guess that's one advantage of doing like the chiplet design is go in uh, uh, a little chiplet or two of uh, software. Like, assuming you can do that in Windows, <laughs> find like Ryzen Master or something. Uh -oh. So. Yeah, it'll, if it's if it's easy to do, you just go do it before you start gaming. But it's a pain in the ass. Like the, the older processors, remember you have to like go in and unlock all the cores and windows and. Oh, in uh, Ryzen Master. Oh, it was for Intel. Oh, you had to. It was uh, called unparking. Unparking. <laughs> you had to unpark the cores so they could all do their individual. Yeah. yeah. On these boys? Yeah. Um, nope, your question was 7000 series better than Intel 13. Dang it. On parkour. Yeah, Arcblade, that's. I, I, that sure is a question. I mean, look, both, both AMD and Intel both have. Um, so. I'll, I'll just say that that'll that'll be my cop-out answer to your question if it doesn't interest you and you're not having problems don't worry about it go 13th gen just don't touch it don't overclock anything undervolt things are so hot it's getting more and more not worth it every day <laughs> I feel like the manufacturers today are just doing a job of like overclocking them themselves because the boost clocks are pretty insane, actually. Like, yeah, we're just getting more and more factory default overclocking. Thirteen nines boost to like five eight. Jesus five Christ. nine. Like, what more do you need? Like, yeah, and especially because their their IPC is so much higher too that like that high, um, uh. Four clock is amplified. It's not equivalent to like a 9900K or something like that. It's it's just better. There's loads you'd still like to learn uh, PC wise, but being housebound makes it difficult. The internet's a hell of a resource. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you watch, you know, on YouTube, like Gamers, Gamers Nexus, Nexus and Linus Tech Tips, uh, Jay's, Jay's Two Cents, a little bit of Braythorn. Like all uh, of those guys really resources. Like, gate, like if you want like too much information and you want it like numbers focused, Gamers Nexus is good. If you want more like entertainment content that is still informative, but not quite as like dry, as Gamers Nexus is, then Linus Tech Tips is your way to go. Linus and Jay's Two Cents. And then, but well, Jay's Two Cents is almost a little more like, um, I guess he and like, um, like Hardware Unbox, Raythorn are a little more on like, like they're very like individually like product focused. Um, yeah. If that I makes just, any sense. Like, but I think. It's still good. I think on the scale of like, um, Kind of information and like sensational i think jay is like a little bit um a little bit towards the like 
sensational. Kind of in the sure. I would put him in the same peg as like Linus. Yeah. In, in in terms of like information versus like sensational. Not quite as because enter Linus has that like entertainment factor. Like their their videos recently have been pretty like. Well, like I mean, goofy, they're but also like they're at the scale where they're literally like a. Um, I want to like not content farm, but like they they have like production value. Like they. Yeah. Yes. Like they are a production. The X3D is still trying to thermally hit like 95. I don't know. I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure. I would imagine. So. Have they 600 to do that? Hit 95 and just. I think all of them, yeah. Even the, even the lower end. Hey, official Fat Jesus rating with a party of three. Let's go. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in. Hello, Hello guys. Hello. Yee, 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 How yee. is stream? Wells is building a Wyvern. Big boy. Big boy. -y. We got one more build after this. Talk about back to our regularly scheduled rainbow cube. For real. Yeah, hell game. yeah. Hello? That, that whole Heart thermal. Paper. Hello, hello. Hello. That whole That's 95 thermal thing, thing is just so weird to me. It is. I don't I don't love it. <laughs> Heart Keeper, thank you for the follow. Um I, I like uh, I like hardware Canucks too. Mm -hmm. They're fun. They're good. They're fun to watch. Uh, if you're if you're uh, interested in like peripherals and stuff, they do computer hardware, but they do some peripheral stuff too as well. Um, if you're interested in small form factor, uh, Optimum Tech. That's a good channel. Kidney for that. <sighs> give a kidney for it. Uh, if you're gonna give a kidney, you might as well give a kidney for a 4090. <laughs> yeah. These are nice 4090s though. Sorry, 40, 4070 Ti's. 40. Okay. The what is it? We built a 4080. Uh, not the Trinity. The amp. Was it the amp? I can't the Zotac. Remember. I can't remember. There's too many of them. You only have the turn. You no, know, we have the, the spaceship looking one. Okay, 36 game, too. Oh, uh, Zotac. Yeah, the Zotac one. Forty seven ATIs look real nice like. Yeah. The more the more I think about it, the more like value. Because what is this? This is the Trinity Arrow. No, the other one was the Trinity Arrow. Or the Haddon. I think it was a 4080. Um, but the 4070 Ti is sort of becoming more and more a good value because it's it's 3090. It's better than 3090 performance um, for, you know, 800 bucks. It's not ideal. It's not the best. Um, but it is a really good option for this generation. If you're not, $800 is still a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, but if you're not trying to go overboard. Best size. It's the best size for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, your current, your 3060 is currently paired with a uh, 10th gen i7 that isn't OC'd and can't OC. That's probably fine. Yeah. And that's a good setup. Yeah, that is a pretty solid setup. Like, uh, don't knock it too much. I can definitely see, you know, if you're trying to do a bunch of stuff all at once, or you're trying to do anything like real fancy or like um, any real like hardcore gaming, I could like see the streaming. the 3060 maybe. Uh, yeah. Starting to limit you there. I guess it doesn't matter which end gets plugged. I seven is good because you got gaming and streaming. Yeah. It easy. Not fine though. We've had it for three years in gaming plus streaming. It chugs a bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> what kind of what kind of stuff are you seeing? Are you seeing like frames dropping on stream or like um, 
Frame every, dips while gaming? Every streamer just has a filthy amount of stuff open. <laughs> yeah. You don't upgrade badly, but wallet is streaming. Yeah. That's also fair. Uh, a couple months ago, actually, Markley. Final one on the market. Anything below like 3080. Probably easy to find, but anything above 3080, good luck. Unless you want to pay out the butt. Stream looks fine, but games have FPS drops even with nothing running in the background. Oh, that sucks. Built in an NKSM one with 3080, 5700G. Been hugely impressed. You've uh, been hugely impressed with the latter. Never goes above 50 percent utilization. Oh boy. Uh, that would go over well. Our old daddy. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, fortunately there's not too much you can do about us but, huh? oh, 12 plus 8 minus 2 cable that's 2 uh, mm. you just play 1080 with a mix of medium slash low settings uh, you just need to upgrade to get it when you're not streaming 3080, uh, 3060 smashes anything you throw at it. Hmm, okay. Is there gonna be a 4060 GPU? Bet your butt. Maybe, I... Maybe. Yeah. That's, That's what I was saying earlier, is like, the... It's weird because the 30 series is like, running out, but... Uh, especially at the higher end but the 40 series hasn't gotten to the low end yet. Well, there's always that. Yeah, anytime anything transitions, whether it's computers or peripherals or uh, even like motorcycle and car parts, like those things go out. We had a meeting with video, what, like four months ago? They, they couldn't give us any info about the 460 no. Uh, uh, still coping with the fact EVGA doesn't make GPUs anymore. No, honestly, like I don't blame them. Well, they but might. <laughs> it's might. not like obviously. Uh, wish they were still making GPUs, and it sucks that they aren't. But like, really, isn't of the world. At least, what the hell at least on part of those. <laughs> Uh, is there any point in 4060 uh, if there's a guy? Yeah, I mean, it's the same. That's like saying, is there any point in uh, 13100 if there's a 13600? Different price points. Different performance, too. They'll probably be pretty different performance wise. All right. Okay, dokie. Enjoy uh, official fat juice. See ya. Glad you could stop by. Have a good weekend, man. Scooter time. Pick a sign for stop limiting forty ninety six. Yeah, seriously. Fuckers. We love you. Stop artificially killing the market. Time. Yeah. Here for clip. Pooter time. I'm pooter. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, who, why come? Okay. All right, this is 11.51 and three, two, one. Whoop, ha. Wow. Yeah? Hello? Hope you, where Ready are to go. you? Stand by. Please, we're there. Oh, you gotta give it a sec. Everything's plugged into the hub. So, the RGB will maybe turn on. Please, course, please. Oh, eh? Yeah, it may need to get into IQ. This happens with the software. With the I software. This rainbow cube. I know, I know. Look at the, look at the, look at the RAM though. The fact that they light up white means it. And the fact that this RAM is RGB. So there's a yeah. little bit of rainbow vomit for you. Damn software. Fucking IQ. But it's nice otherwise. I mean, it, everything works. Okay, that was 1151. Oh, I need to. Beefy bow. Yeah, I build the herpes. Herpy. Herpes. Right, that is that is 1151. Yeah. Okay. That's all. What's up? That's all. You call me? What? What? What am I fat ass? <laughs> uh, that's why you hope EVJ and Intel come why. together to create that's a why GPU. You, why, why aren't you telling me? Yeah, but I don't like. I don't know how much um, EVGA like. So if EVGA comes back and teams up with Intel, AMD, whoever, whoever you want it to be, I don't know if that oh, necessarily that makes the GPUs significantly better right because it's still going to be the same chip still going to be the same software and those are the main things like yes having different board layout uh can help increase the performance but is it going to be enough to like get so that is what you think the new AMD processor? Like, what what do we think about it? Which one? Stopped voting for company a long time ago. Yeah, I like them to fight to the death in a death match for me. Yeah, <laughs> they need to earn give, our business. Give me the best product. Oh, too fast. Fast TV about the Acer Intel GPU starting to root for Intel. Yeah, I've been rooting for Intel since the start. Like, I want them to succeed because. That would be awesome I'm if trying they to kid. are competitive. Um, <laughs> Why didn't you do it? Because <laughs> I can't see. It's hard. <laughs> mm, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Jesus. All right, we've got some fans to arm in. Hooray. Hey. Hey. Things I like doing, it's RMAs. Mm. Yes, the fan, the cooler and the side three are RGB. But Back because IQ has, like, is just temperamental um, with their like saved profiles, it won't, they won't turn on until the computer is like in Windows. Or I'm sure if we left it on long enough, it might, but. Probably not. Realistically. Yeah, it's just sometimes it works and sometimes it needs to be told what to do. Coaxed, coerced, eaten, tickled. Sometimes it'll brick your 360. Oh God, yeah. I've like stopped updating the firmware. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, you're asking what do we think about the new X3D processors? Uh, honestly, I haven't, I've been a bad um, uh, PC builder and I have not uh, watched or read or done really much of anything. Um, yeah, I haven't really either. <laughs> pertaining to the X3D 
Um, so much shit to do. I, I mean, I've heard that the 7900X3D wasn't what it was supposed to be or something It was something not very like warm that. reception. Yeah. Which don't didn't... say that out loud. <laughs> Quasi might. Yeah. Quasi is, is sad about Quasi that. Quasi earmuffs. Um, I have a feeling, though, that it's just not the savior of gaming that everyone was thinking it was going to be. But I haven't watched the video, so maybe that's... Maybe I'm putting my the foot in my mouth by saying that. The 5800X probably got everyone a little too excited for uh, the 3D technology. Yeah. What do you mean? I like having four or more different software to control my RG. I can't wait to get rid of my Razer headset, the Corsair headset, or anything that doesn't have its own software. Does Arctic have... You mean give your money to a company that won't give you... Okay. Yes. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. That, we gotta shift those. Instead of having like four plus softwares control individual components and peripherals. Hey, that's why... That's why... What did I do? It's Putin time. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm trying to see who his, uh, his build is going to be 7950X3D for gaming streaming. That's why I asked. Just wait for people to do it. Yeah, definitely wait for like reviews on the 7950X3D and you can see it, the performance. Or um, wait a few weeks and we build one on stream. Well, 7900. Yeah. Keyboard's RGB is controlled the hardware side, so that's amazing. That's cool. Uh, oh good, all my pasta stuck together. <laughs> oh boy. Did you know? Nope. Uh, did you know the last one? Nope. God damn it. That's my bad. I should have said something. Here you eat sauceless pasta. I didn't have any, alright? I put salt and pepper on it. I had to make something and I am running out. Email. Shit build. Wait. No, I'm not gonna make sauce. I'm just gonna buy the Harris Teeter brand. Like I didn't have any ingredients. Thanks for stopping by, Heartkeeper. Good uh, rest of your day and weekend. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for hanging out. No, well, I know I can buy it. I do buy it, but I haven't been to the grocery store in a little while. Leave me alone. I shouldn't be so defensive because it's just going to egg them on, but. Stop it. Get in. The Big B Bacon? Uh, it depends on what kind of PC you want. I know that's kind of a cop-out answer, but... Yeah, we got everything ranging from the low end, uh, and that's like 800, uh, $879.99 um, for our Harpy model, base model. Um, and then we go all the way up to the big boys that cost like 3, 4K plus. 
or um, if you want some completely weird S tier stuff between you and your friends, we'll do that too. Mm -hmm. Um, if if uh, you have a specific budget, we're more than happy to work around your budget and uh, work with you and design something that's going to be good for you within your budget. Ugh. Um. Yeah, I hear. I'll, I'll post a link to the website, and you can get a you can get a feel for what our models uh, look and bend like and feel and smell like. And then I'm just hoping that like one of these twelve four hundred boxes is going to have like a thirteen. <laughs> Statistically, it might happen, right? On a long enough timeline. <laughs> And they have to mess up statistically. Uh, do you watch regular? Have you seen regular car reviews on YouTube? Um, they at some point they were talking about some car was L, like they they were reviewing some LS swapped car, and he's like, on a long enough timeline, timeline, everything gets an LS. No, but we're uh, we're working on international shipping. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully we can do that. I we, think we were kind of looking at like, yeah, what were we doing like a case by case basis? We're not gonna like globally open it up, but like if you want, a piece, yeah, I think we can do like a custom invoice for you too. And uh -huh. you wouldn't be able to like order from the site, but we would send you an invoice. And it's totally not a scam, wink, wink. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I said why? that. I don't know why I said that. I thought it and I said it. That, that's it. That's why I said it, Ryan. We're not a scam. <laughs> We're building. Look, I think I'm funny and that's all that matters. Yeah, it's a difference between being funny and like, <laughs> that is actually our business. <laughs> UK is I like... said wink wink. Wait, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold on. Not wink wink. I think the UK is one of the easier places to ship for the uh -huh. US. So it's probably Imagine imagine you walk into like, I don't know, Subway or something, and it's like we totally didn't spit in your sandwich. <laughs> whoa, 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 this one's for him. Like <laughs> set it aside. We definitely didn't do anything to that one. We're trying. We're trying so hard. I just want someone to spit my mouth. Is currently to open up like complete international shipping, like to be purchasable, purchasable on the store. Like behind like a crazy paywall. It's very expensive. We're we're still pretty small. So I think we're talking about ordering it or handling it on a like Custom invoice level. Mm -hmm. And I'm really thinking about switching back to Google Chrome just to get the click up uh, thing. Oh, about that. Upper GX is. Oh. Are you able to use ClickUp to. Uh, Needs any Chrome extension. Nice. All right, I'll try that. Ula. I got all my bookmarks. Yeah, use Opera because it's the browser for gamers. <laughs> That's literally what it says, like on the front. Chromium. How's our bit rate? I think we're fine. Uh, yeah, we're fine. I tested Tarkov and then mm -hmm. deleted all traces. And... Oh, that guy. Or swap. Cool. That one of them that came in. Yeah. I was I I didn't have very much time when I came over last night. Uh, I 
like that, I mean. I, um, the only reason I was able to come over is, um, went to the gym with Sarah last night and. With a girl? With a girl. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, we get it, well. <laughs> you know, we, we got Chipotle. Um, and then after dinner, I was like, all right, I need to go do some work. That is not me kicking you out. And she was like, oh no, that's perfect. I'll go home, feed my cat. And I come back and I was like, fuck, that is great timing. You don't like air coolers. This one looks nice. This one actually gets a uh, pretty rave reviews, honestly, from mm -hmm. a lot of um, hardware techs. Comes in reality. Hello. Oh. Hello. What's uh, actually, What's I cracking? think Gamers Nexus kind of like praise this cooler too. Mm -hmm. Forms well. Okay. 52. Oh, click up. Push pull on this air cooler? No, the setup for this cooler is not uh, faulted to push pull. You could do it. Good. It does include the hardware if you got another fan. Yep. But uh, I think the the one up from this was like the U6. Yep. And it has, I think, the, is it a dual tower? That's got two fans. Tower, two fan. E-True U6. This is the V5. And a radiator of this size, or a heat sink of this size, doesn't really need push pull. The twelve four hundred too. That, that also. It's like on most radiators, um, like a regular twenty five millimeter radiator doesn't need push pull. Um, no, no push pull, quasi. Pull push. Down boy. Um, <laughs> pull push uh 27 whatever the standard size is i don't know man i'm not good at numbers that's a lie of it i'm just forgetful or none or stupid um but uh you don't really even need a push pull on like a standard size radiator it's not until uh yeah it's like one or two degrees c um uh, uh. you really only need you only need push pull when you get to like the super thick radiators for like custom water cooling, and even then you probably don't need it, or especially you, with fans today that have such good static pressure. I can your doggy door and you try to get out, you might need push pull. <laughs> e. How about a push push? I think I've seen that in a Gamers Nexus uh, pre-built PC review. We see people installing these like cat doors inside their house, like upside down. <laughs> Like it has a little cutout on the bottom, but they install it like the wrong way, so it's up top. <laughs> so um, stupid. Arctic Breezer too. The 420, yeah, is it is thicker. It's like what, like 35 millimeters or something like that. I think so. Push, push. Yeah, we're gonna start doing only push, push on the radiators. Push, push, push. All right, for you, I don't know. I mean, the, technically, that one. Comes. What? You did a push, push. That's what I was saying. Is uh, <laughs> in a in a gamer's nexus pre-built. No, review. it was a gamer's nexus video. Yeah, it was a push, push setup. I mean, I, obviously, I wouldn't say the the name. Was even it if I cyber remember, power? But uh, was it cyber power? Was it origin? I don't. I power don't, GPU. A company that you should only request being built on stream. Fart company. Ah. These meatballs are so good. It's five bucks for like thirty-two of them at Harris Teeter. And I hate um, it's hard to push. So, yeah. Uh, the way that air coolers work is a little different. There is liquid. In those heat pipes that you see running up and down 
but it works off a different principle than just like pure like uh water's ability to hold heat it uh fuck what is it there's water at the bottom of the heat pipes it evaporates goes up um goes up the heat pipe to the great convection um to the radiator when it cools down it condenses comes back down and then the cycle repeats and uh and it works surprisingly well i know on uh what is it, Jerry rig everything when he tears down phones? When you get like really beefy phones that have heat pipes in them, he'll cut them open. And if you're quick, you can just briefly see the liquid that's inside of it. It's not very much liquid, but it's enough. I'd be interested to see how much liquid's in those. Put it open. Yeah. Cool. Everything I want to see the inside of, I just cut it. Oh boy. Oh, is that a little person? Yeah. Have you been drinking paint? Yeah, I've been drinking paint. Are you gonna cut it? Yeah, I was gonna cut him open. Where to God, you'd be more use of me if I just fashioned you, you, fashioned you into a lampshade <laughs> or luggage. Luggage, yeah. Is, that's how they get the, the, the anti psychotics for psycho, uh, psycho Pete. <laughs> Like her face after he said that, she's like horrified. I, I really <laughs> hope that that was like improv. Probably. <laughs> I think we're good on everything. Like when they're at their reunion or whatever, and that guy like makes fun of him, pisses him off. He's like, "I'm gonna go get my tools." <laughs> <laughs> he like goes to his car. I'm gonna get my tools and things. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you want to be technical, there's there's all there's liquid in every kind of cooling method, but except for um well, not every cooling method. Well, yeah, not air cool and water cool, or like liquid cool. Mm -hmm. There's there's liquid in both of them. Cuz like on tiny processors, like on a Raspberry Pi, you can just put a little tiny heat sink on it and it's just pure um yeah and there's also like the, mass. there's also like the um blanking on what it's called but like it uses a physics principle to make like one uh side really cold and one side really hot the coriander <laughs> effect yeah cory matthews effect yeah Oh, uh, the title of the stream, Don't You Push Pull a Sandwich? I push a sandwich into my mouth and I pull it out my butt. Oh. My stomach pulls the sandwich into it and then it pushes it out my butt. I think these Ventus ones are one eighth in it. Yeah. Oh, it's a 1660. Definitely. Yeah, I definitely will. I thought it was a 3060. Okay. Hmm. I've only got two meatballs left. Cut them in half, then you have two. What? Or cut them in half, then you have four. 16 plus 8 minus 2. <laughs> I was about to say, is the cake making 12 you... plus 8 minus 2. <laughs> we'll lose your ability to do math. Can't cable in math. Uh. His math. Wait, his math or tism math? Watch your mouth. We we might have a touch of the I might have a touch of the tism. It's all your plans for the weekend. Mine are not fun. So what are you doing? 
Figure out international shipping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Oh boy, Gmail storage is 70% full. Who's this to? I don't think ours is like better or something. Uh, I don't know what the fuck I have in there, unless it's counting all my pictures and videos. Your right? stuff and things. My stuff and things. I wish eBay sellers were faster about responding i've been trying to order this gas tank for my bike for a while i want a gray one instead of a black one and it's a little bigger too well, and we can't talk about cars and stuff because we lose viewers <laughs> i don't care we talked about bikes earlier too um and it's out of stock everywhere it's the it's it's for a dr650 it's the service gray 5.3 gallon tank um and I don't know why, but it's been out of stock everywhere. Because I was able to find it for like $200 hour long ago, a couple months ago. And then I, as soon as I get the bike and I stop looking at the tanks, because I'm like, oh, I'll wait until my birthday. And um, now they're out of stock. And the only ones you can find, I did find one for $217 last night on eBay. And I was like, all right, dad, cancel your order. I'll order this one and he's like no let's wait until it ships and i'm like okay that works and so i i bought it uh ordered it and it hasn't shipped yet i i bought it from the same person or same company that that i bought my exhaust from um so seen parks and rec yeah you no know bo burnham's character in there uh With ratty like just with the his dad's is like manager. Mm. So he like he literally treats him like his manager. That's what it thought me of. Or that's oh, what that I thought sounds of when familiar. You so that like dad cancel like. <laughs> Go get me some fresh water. <laughs> you call it fresh? He throws it at. She said. Had a long week, so gonna watch Marvel movies. Oh, that nice. sounds nice. You should watch. Um. Uh, you should watch the entirety of the Infinity Saga. There's a chronological cut, and it's like, I think it's like 50 hours long or something. Um, it's really well done. It's really, really well done. I watched it all in about, it was like three or four days or something. Um, are you watching, are you gonna watch the, the full like cut, like the full like chronological cut up order? Cause it's, uh, it's so good. And I think they like, they add some extended <laughs> scenes. Oh, I'll take that into the other room. Ooh, my tummy. one no last one the one that we forgot to email good okay hooray we so that's a while so it makes me feel better need to be <laughs> we need an office no we need oh, no we get all crazy bottom one out of an apartment oh okay cool they didn't see it. Okay. Tell them sorry. <laughs> Tell them I'm sorry. Apartment, so I can just crawl into bed afterwards. But it's not your apartment. <laughs> um. 
Uh, yeah, so I've been watching a lot of Star Wars lately, and I started with, I rewatched all of Clone Wars, and I think I finished it in about a week or two. Um, I just let it play in the background, and I paid attention during the important parts. Um, and then I <laughs> watched... Shh, gosh. Um, it's, it is to me. <laughs> uh, That's doing it because it's trending. No, fuck, I love Star Wars. Um... And I found it's a four hour Siege of Mandalore, Revenge of the Sith cut. Um, and uh, it was so good. It was so cool to see them like side by side, back to back. Um, you ever so, seen the Star Wars holiday special? Uh, I don't think so. I feel like that's the opposite of the work of this cut. This? Where they like send it to the other way. Yeah. Yeah, it's like just leave it in the case. Like send it. Um, but then I watched uh so I watched that and then I watched Rogue a uh oh then I watched Kenobi. Um and I watched it was a four and a half hour cut of all the Kenobi, and they cut out some of the scenes because some of the scenes in Kenobi are not are not very well like choreographed. Um uh a little rushed. A little rush and like the the chase scene with Leia in the woods is ridiculous. I mean, it's like it's like five minutes long, and the fact that these grown men cannot catch a little girl running through the woods, and at one point she like turns a corner and one of them jumps out and is like ah, and they both stare at each other for a second, and then she turns and runs like like he wouldn't have just like fucking palmed her face and stuffed her in a bag or something. She's a little girl. Yeah, it's not that hard to catch a child. Um, I don't, I should, I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Damn it. I don't know. I don't know for sure. Um, it's, it's not, hold on. <laughs> listen, it's listen. It's not hard to get a No, 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 Um, <laughs> fuck. Soda uh, sopa, soda sopa. Please don't clip that. Please don't clip that. No, please don't clip that. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Now every time You're going to you get me in trouble. You're going to get me. Every time you say something weird on stream, we'll just refer. Yikes. God damn it. No, you're not supposed to be here for this. Fuck. Okay, yes, look, yes. I didn't mean it like that. I'm yes, sure sir. that if you were... If anything, we haven't had enough clips in the past. No, so. probably not. Um, Pretty easy to cook a child. But so the cut, the, the four hour cut, um, the yearn for clups. What's a clup, Quasi? Huh? <laughs> What's a clup? Is it, are you, do you look for clups while Ryan is smoking meth and looking for cocks? <laughs> See, now he's mad he's getting <laughs> Um, But so they like, they shortened the, the scene with the, the like chase scene of Leia through the woods to like 30 seconds, like the way that it should be. Um, and then, what else did they do to it? I don't remember. Um, and then I watched a, it was a uh, Rogue One yeah. episode four edit where they just mashed them together because they are literally butt up to each other. Um, <sighs> God damn it. Fuck. <laughs> what do people hate on the new Star Wars, dude? I'm so tired of it. I, you know, uh, I... It's like, because it's... Because everyone else is doing it. Let's jump on the bandwagon. No, 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 no. No, because they should have... Because they, they fucked it up. The first one, the first episode nine was good. It was headed in the right direction. Um, oh, Star Wars is definitely a better universe than Marvel, for sure. Oh, God. Um, like, I like Marvel. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I just think right, Star right. Wars is better. Um, but uh, they... I, I just think that, like... Okay, the first one was a little bit too close to episode four, but not a huge deal. Everybody likes a little bit of reboot. Everyone likes some member berries. Um, but then fucking fast forward to, um, uh, what is it? Episode nine? Wait, seven? No, episode seven was good. Fast forward to episode nine, it's like, somehow Palpatine has returned. Like, like fuck off. Like, I get, I get that they need a big bad guy, but like they had Snoke. Like Snoke could have been good, and then they kind of wasted it. But Snoke was, Snoke was Palpatine. Snoke was Mace Windu. Okay, no, no. Listen, <laughs> Here, 
Oh my god. Um, it was Samuel L. Jackson's character. Uh, you think some of the movies aren't good? It's. Uh, Dude, Snoke was actually Jar Jar Binks. So, Star okay, Wars but the thing is, is Star that Joanne. is that early on, the, the movies weren't planned as a That's trilogy. True. They were made by different directors. And so, like, when Snoke first came, like, to light, um, uh, I, no, because I, okay, when, when Snoke first came to light, they, they confirmed that Snoke is not Palpatine and that there was no plans to make him Palpatine. But Snoke is just a clone like a bad clone of of whatever Palpatine was trying to do and they like and they like retconned it and like shoehorned it in and it's like then like you get to to Exegol and he's got this massive fleet that is controlled by computers and it's like who built this fleet it hasn't been that long since since Palpatine died and like okay it's Star Wars and like he, like the Death Star was inconceivable as well and like they um, built two by the way. They made two of them. In a matter, it would have, matter of years. Someone did like the, like math, as much math with this kind of stuff as you can do. Um, and like, you know, a lot of assuming with numbers and that kind of stuff, but like building two Death Stars I think would- there's actually three. Like, like half building one. Oh, and then there was Starkiller. Um, uh, building a, 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 a moon sized battle station just would not it just wouldn't work like i think physically and like economically like it would bankrupt like planets but it was indeed killer. massive star killer base was pretty cool that was an that was an interesting design you could do that okay all right listen all right you got imagine staffing something that big that's the thing is like you could do that in like two weeks I forget one. Well, that's like when they blew it up. The, do you know, I think they blew up like it was either hundreds of thousands or like millions of people. Um, it was millions. Probably millions. It's got to be millions. But... It was like all of uh, Alderaan. <laughs> that was like the home planet. Oh, well, that's that's who they killed. I'm talking about when they blew up uh, the Death Star. The Death Star. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Um, you mine asteroids, but who are you gonna pay to mine those asteroids? Unless I guess it's just slave labor. Also, again, the, the moon is very, so. Kardashev, what's a Kardashev scale? Um, uh, okay, I, I don't love. That's a Mataman scale. I don't love the way Han died, but I just, I, but that's, I think that's because I like Han Solo as a character. Um, I think it was a, a justified death. Like, it it was, was, yeah, because it was. It was good. It was what? One, I think Harrison Ford was tired of the series and he wanted to be out, although he came back later in episode nine. So, fuck that. Uh, as a, as a, as a, not even a force ghost, just as a, like, hallucination for, for Kylo. Yeah. I guess he was he felt guilty by then, but. I figured it was um, something like this, but, uh, method of measuring levels civilization, of level of technology, advancement based on the amount of energy able to use. What is it, like, uh, level three is like you get like a like a Dyson sphere, more or less. Okay, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, because um, what we're like still level zero, like um, someone's turned Mega Maid from suck to blow. Oh fuck! You don't <laughs> have to pay people to mine asteroids. Just kidnap children. Apparently, it's easy. God damn it! Oh boy! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Um, I mean, zero point six. Uh, I guess because we've done a little bit of space travel yeah there's no force ghost so we see yoda and then a little bit of luke yogurt and then um yogurt <laughs> yogurt i hate yogurt yeah. <laughs> need to master earth first yeah that's a, a, yeah we need to master the ocean as type one uh into the 16 watts and then it shows a picture of earth oh and is it like energy production yeah, it's how much okay. amount of energy it's able to use. God, if we could control weather, that'd be phenomenal. And then type two is 10 to 26 watts. Type three is 10 to the 36 watts and has a pic. The, the second picture is the sun. The third picture is the like galaxy. Okay. Imagine we could control weather. That'd be sick. That'd be sweet. Just a nice temperate like 
between, because I want it to sway a little bit between like 60 yeah. and 80. But then some asshole country would be like summoning the power of waves on you or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Or do you know there'd be like a bunch of like religious extremist factions that are like, we're not supposed to do that. That's God's job. And it's like, it wouldn't be like nuclear war, it'd be like maritime war. Yeah. <laughs> like, eat these waves. I suck this tsunami. Well, I'm a wizard inside my house. There's a TikTok audio that I need to find. Ace Windu was Snoke. Or was it Jar Jar? Might have been can Jar Jar. You, can you stop? <laughs> Shut up. Only the real ones know that Jar Jar is a Sith Lord. Shadow Wizard Money Gang, we love casting spells, baby. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Shadow Wizard Money Gang. All right, I'm gonna start a gang called Shadow Wizard Money Gang. Who wants in? Hmm. Flag off Star Wars. I'm not slagging off. Oh, I like Star Wars. Star Wars. But. Okay, but the problem is, is that the new movies were done fucking by Disney, and the only reason they did it was for money, because um, George Lucas had no, had nothing to do with them. I don't think Dave Filoni or John Favreau had anything to do with them either, um, and so you just end up with like, and it's like, okay, I get that there's not a lot of Jedi, so Ray is channeling a lot of light side energy and it helps like she can learn a little faster and that kind of stuff but the fact that by what is it the second movie second or third movie um i guess i think it was the third she's already like force healing and that kind of stuff um didn't she kind of like accidentally do it though uh no she was trying to calm down that big ass snake watch your mouth <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck George Lucas is doing 10, 11, and 12. Ooh. Is it gonna be, is it gonna continue the Skywalker saga? I guess, I don't know if it's technically Skywalker still. Just Ray is a Palpatine, which was out of fucking left field. And, um, Ray didn't even know that. Like, that's the thing is that there was, my issue with the movies is not that they are explicitly bad. They're high quality movies and like, as Star Wars content goes, yes, it's it's more Star Wars content. Like, I would rather watch them than not watch them, I guess. But like They're part it, of our history. If it were if it were a choice between those movies and something more cohesive, I would obviously, I mean, obviously pick something more cohesive. So so if it's a new story, are they gonna call it 10, 11, and 12? Or is it just that those happen to be the 10th, 11th, and 12th movies, but they're not the 10th, 11th, and 12th movies because of uh, Solo, um, Rogue One, uh, those are the only, and then the Clone Wars movies, Clone War, Clone Wars movie. Um, on God, no cap, Monka W. What was the one you said uh, on Wednesday? Monka T, Monka T, I don't know. Monka W. Monka S. Shout out Wizard Money Gang. On Monka. On Monka. What you looking for? I thought I heard wind or rain or something. And outside. Fire. 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 Pull up. Pull up. Brimstone. Warning. Fire. Warning. Warning. Air speed stall. Warning. Warning. Mm -hmm. Doing it. You're doing it. What'd you do? I'm doing it. What'd you do? This plug. It's a new story, but it's in the timeline. So, okay, time, I gotcha. That makes sense. Hey, buddy, cutting tape. Um, I didn't really look into it, but I heard that there's. Um, oh, I can't wait for solo. I heard that there's gonna be 
uh, a story about the Earth Avatar after Korra. Oh? I don't know if it's going to be a show or a book. Or... Oh, I hope it's a show. I need more Avatar shit. Do you like Legend of Korra? Yeah, it. I think I think I appreciate it more. That's through. fair. Yeah, because I think I was. Do just... you like just Do you just like Avatar more? Yeah, I do. I think I do too. And part of my thing is that I love. so like because when you when you have like a uh, and it was kind of interesting the the difference between the two. Anytime Aang went anywhere, it was sort of like it was a, it was obviously a big deal. Like once people like knew he was the Avatar. It was a big deal. He could sort of like, not that he was trying to get away with shit, but he could get away with a little more. For Korra, once you like move into like sort of more like structured society, it was like just because she was the avatar didn't really give her any leniency, which makes sense. I understand. But as like, because you're rooting for the character and it's frustrating when she's trying to do the right thing, but gets fucked over. Yeah. It, it's just it, there was definitely some more frustration um but for, i i think they're both they're both good for me personally i think it was i don't i don't know if it was net positive or net negative to technology yeah I, well and that's i mean i think part of the show is is bringing that dilemma up like technology is in, in in some instances is not necessarily always yeah a net positive well, like i don't know it, it it feel like it feels weird for the like avatar world but you still have. like regardless of who has powers because like vendors made up what 15 percent um god i'm not sure I don't know what the percentage was, but um, see that people saying Avatar 2 is a racist movie. Is it because, like, because they're blue? What's wrong with you? Why are you blue? Uh, I think there's going to be a show or two and some movies. Uh, that could be Avatar, cool. Avatar Last Airbender. What was, Korra. what was Korra? Was, um, what did she start as? Water. Water? And so the next in line is Earth. Who is fire? Wait. Water. No, I Earth. don't think she was. Was she because she had a hard time learning air bending? Well, uh, she was born to the water tribe, but yeah. was her because she could, when when they when the White Lotus found her because she could already obviously do all three. Um, just not air yet, I think. Yeah, oh, it's, it's because it was, it's because it was like against her personality. Okay, that would make okay. Because like the reason why uh, usually it's harder for avatars to like learn the element is because usually it goes against their, like, you know, what they grew up with. Basically. Uh, trying to get uh, kids loved uh, Avatar trying to get them into Dragon Ball Z but uh, they're not buying into it Wells any tips for coercing children yeah I saw that <laughs> alright listen uh, Nickelodeon executives de definitely rushed the chorus story could have been so much better yeah um <laughs> I don't know if JoJo's is the best for children. Carol <laughs> Terminator, what's up? Um, if you remember the correctly, story, uh, the season. they were told that Korra would get canceled, so they ended the story <laughs> after the first season, then it got continued while working on the second season. They were again told that it would end. They were, yeah. You can tell that there was some kind of like production mumbo jumbo happening hard, like hard the stuff yeah. yeah uh nubian jakuda thank you for the follow is that nubian is in like star wars like africa maybe i don't know
Hugs. What would you say is the most underrated movies that you can remember? I'm not sure. Dude, you look like Mr. Beast. <laughs> Dude, where's my car? Yeah, not the first person to say that. Doesn't help that I just got a haircut, too. Into the meme. Under the Thunderdome. I mean, it, it, there could be way worse people for me to look like. Uh, oh, absolutely. Program print there. <laughs> hey, Mr. Beast from Aldi. <laughs> Jesus. Is there no red shirt command? No. I don't. What would even the red shirt command be? Just it says red shirt over and over and over again. <laughs> red shirt. Red shirt. Red shirt. Red shirt. It just shirt. repeats red shirt. <laughs> Can you get a command to, to make another, like type another command? Like if you put a command in a command, will it trigger it? I don't certainly so. try. Okay, underrated movie. Um, Art, right, you have to like make a list over time. Yeah. And it's like, cause like what's, what's underrated? Like, Cause like some like there's like obviously good movies that not a lot of people have seen, which I guess would be underrated. But then you get like movies that like aren't really that good, but like gain a little bit of a cult following. Well, I like all those '90s movies, uh, like The Abyss. Did you ever see that? Mm -mm. Underwater and a lot of weird ones. Um, Event Horizon is really good. That's yeah. got um, Lawrence Fishburne and uh, who's the older guy? Oh, um, Dr. Grant. Yeah, what's his name? He was in uh, Peaky Blinders. He's pretty cool. hmm. I need to watch Peaky Blinders. I have listen. not seen that. I've seen a portion of it. I have to watch it. Uh, Dude, the end of the first season, I was like, you gotta take a deep breath. <laughs> End of the first season was sick. Uh huh. Uh, what's his name in that? Um, the main guy. The guy or that plays Bane. Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy, yeah. Dude, his character in that is so awesome. Alfie. Have you seen the... um? Oh, what's where Tom Hardy plays the two twins? Oh yeah, yeah. I saw the They're first. Gangsters. Yeah. Um, I saw the first like thirty minutes of it or something like that. I had to go. It wasn't bad. Watch the whole thing. Um, he he's in a show that's pretty good. Uh, Taboo. Have you seen that? You haven't seen that? Nope. It's pretty good. Like um, I want to say it's like the nineteen hundred. Oh. Uh... Not like him from Venom. Really? I, uh, hmm. I thought Venom was a, I, the first time I watched it, I was like, yeah, this is pretty good. I liked it. The second time, it was not as good. I've never seen Red Shirt and Ryan on stream at the same time. I'm starting to think, do you two not like each other? Yeah, they hate each other. <laughs> Free! Yeah, Ryan keeps uh, smoking all our red shirts and meth. <laughs> <laughs> so, and red shirt won't stop looking at Ryan's cock. <laughs> apparently, uh, the 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 whole thing about the new Avatar series apparently it's not from like an official source. Damn it, motherfuckers! And it's weird because this picture, this definitely looks like Bolin. Boba Fett. Tell me that doesn't look like Bolin. It does look like Bolin. I don't look like. I don't like Bolin. It's too goofy. And I want happiness for Bolin. Yeah, I don't want anything bad to happen to him. He's just not my favorite character. The transfer. If you're watching the Transformer movies because you are expecting a cinematic masterpiece, <laughs> you have failed. Like you just shouldn't. You have severely misallocated your time. You, okay. You have not, you are not. 
I haven't yeah. watched the Transform movies since I was a child, but like, they are they're not I, bad. They're I remember like, enjoying them. They're good. No, I like them. They're good movies, but they are they're like bang them up, shoot them up, Transformer robot action fighter movies. Like they're not yeah, they're not meant like to be like, like knocks on the door and that guy goes up and it's just his foot. <laughs> the what? Uh, he like goes to that safe house or whatever and like knocks on the door, and then the like the thug goes over and looks out the keyhole thing eye hole and it's just uh what's his name's foot like hitting the door oh. <laughs> kicks in the door i i do like how they like play with history though not all of it but um when they're at the i think in the third one there are so many of them now i can't keep track uh um but they're like scrolling they're, like going around the house looking at like artifacts and stuff and they put uh pull up to this one and he's like yeah this is hitler's pocket watch and as soon as he says that the watch like transforms and jumps at the like like glass and is like trying to get out it and like kills like it looks like it wants to kill somebody yeah and uh it's just like i thought that was funny i don't know why it's like that seems very fitting for hitler to have a murderous pocket watch <laughs> decepticon pocket watch mm -hmm. Do you think the do you think the minions would have teamed up with the Decepticons? I don't want to think about it. the the minions if they weren't in that uh, uh, ice cave definitely definitely would have worked for Hitler. And no, you, they in the movie. Have you guys seen the movie? No. They said I think it's something like from they 1900 like to Germany. 1950. No, they were in like an ice cave. Like they they went and hid. Because they wanted to avoid the association because they knew, because their whole oh. thing is that they work for the evilest person. Yeah. And in 1938 to 1945, the evilest person was Hitler, so. I thought, okay, yeah. I thought they said that they were in Germany or something. That makes sense. That, wouldn't that, that be would funny? Not do wouldn't that. that be fucking hilarious? Because they absolutely would have worked for Hitler. I have to go to, is that is that in response to the minions working for the Decepticons? Because I think they would have. I think the minions absolutely would have just like maybe Stalin. Stalin did technically kill more people. Um, Revert to Mussolini. Mussolini was a little bitch. Wait, was Mussolini uh, Italy or Spain? Italy. Who's in Spain? Who's running Spain? Italy. Just ignore my, my, I haven't looked at World War II shit since high school. I just don't care. It's all the same. All parties. What? <laughs> like what? Oh yeah, Olive Garden. Oh. I, I don't remember the last time I was at Olive Garden. I just want their breadsticks. Still too soon. I don't like when you said Sadly, yeah. Communism uh, bad. I think they were forced to say communism. <laughs> communism good for some people. <laughs> Oh, technology helping kill people as well. I guess that would, um, yeah, because a lot of Germans helped the nukes. Oh, so, like maybe we're getting a little, little. Right. This is history. It's too close. I think it's fine. At some point, it's history matter, where like there's the still some. I think it's pretty universal. I don't think there's anything controversial about it. Or I mean, like there definitely is, but like. Oh, are you thinking of Napoleon? That's the French little French fuck. Napoleon was a little boy. A little tiny boy. Actually, I don't think he was that short. Good um, boy. I think he was like five six or something. Five six, five seven, which is short for man. I mean, it's below average. Um, on Braun is the father of rocketry. Five six. Yeah, so he's not not like a little person, he's just a guy. Mm. 
taller than you. Got him. He's always drawn as like 4'10", which is funny, as he should be, because the French, I mean. The standing jump. The Zoomers came about as French. French measurements and English measurements use the same names, but were different sizes. Interesting. So wait, so was he like 5'6", and they just reported him as like seeming smaller? Or was he probably more like average height? Because the average height back then was probably closer to 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, I mean, I think it's fine. Everybody probably just depicted him as a small man because of his lower something. Being a little shit. Up his sleeveys. I don't understand that no, that yeah, joke. Yeah. I don't get that joke. Yum. Already on the merch. Yeah, we are too. No, damn it. It's gonna happen soon. Poop your pants. No, they. Oh, damn it. They canceled my fucking. Order. Piss. Who did? Uh, the, for the gas tank. Damn it. Oh, I you meant like. <laughs> or a cable one. French measurement had him at 5'2, but the French inch was 2.7 centimeters. Real inch at 2.54. Oh. Compensating. And shorter than average male dolls at the time. That makes sense. Damn it. I was so close. It said two, two in stock on the eBay listing. There's like two available, five sold. <sighs> sure. So annoying. I just... I don't need the gas tank, but it's... Oh. Cool. Neat. I'm not buying a used one, dude. Use gas tank. Bad idea. I don't know if they did it, that guy. And the only ones that are available are like, this one's five hundred dollars coming from Italy. I didn't even see Steve coming. What's up, Steve? Gas tanks are gas tanks. Step on you. That was that was some good trivia. Oh, we care buttons. Fun size. Uh, what's wrong with that? Wells is uh more yeah I nasty. um I've got a. a 2016 DR650 and it's got a 4.9 gallon IMS tank on it right now, but I want the 5.3 gallon Acerbis gray tank for it. I, I just, I like the way it looks. A little bit more gas, but that's not really the reason I'm getting it because I can also sell the IMS gas tank for about 200 bucks too. Got an earthy feel to it. Um, and I just want that swap. And it's that gray tank, that gray service 5.3 is out of stock everywhere, except for one retailer on eBay that is in Italy uh, and they want like $500 for it. So now probably because it's like a shit ton for, for shipping and they want to offer free shipping, but that just means they have to increase the price of their international shipping computer. Yeah, yeah, we literally workshopped that earlier. I think Fox played. Uh, it would have been better if you actually got the gas tank. Right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and and plays a one reed whacker string bass made from a gas tank from the 19th Mercury Grand Marquis the Hickory. What the hell? That's pretty neat. Interesting. It is a very interesting piece of trivia.
I don't know why, but I get I I guess I'm just very bad at like trivia in the sense of like going to a like uh going to like a trivia night. Uh, yeah, I went to an office trivia night at one of the bars here. Holy crap, man! Wait, like for the show? Oh God, some people just know everything. It was like, what color was uh, Baba Va's armrest in season? episode three or something what the fuck yeah like for i was like give me my beer <laughs> <laughs> for a while like my friends trivia and i i don't know why but i just always i, I was not ever know the crazy questions All right Tom's or if i did know the answer Someone else already knew. Like, I remember another one was like, uh, what number popped up on Jim's cell phone or something? Like, oh, God. Yeah, goodness. Uh, so Tung said he'll be here about 5.45-ish. He gone. Um, <laughs> and that's the thing is he says 5.45-ish. Sorry, 4.45. Sorry. Oh, we're almost done with the last Um. He's dropping a box off to ship the panels. Oh, um, okay. I guess we don't need to do tonight. Um. Yeah, like. Oh, especially whenever it was the music, dude. Whenever it was the music, I was useless. Big trivia. Well, it was like general trivia, but uh, I think. He would do like uh, music trivia, um, like play like a short tune, for like one sec. Yeah, like he, yeah. Like, I think, like random. Did you know a U.S. ship during World War Two gave a Kamikaze pilot. Interesting. Uh, like, there's no way that I'm going to be able to remember any of the questions or anything, but um, it would be very rare that it'd be something where, like, I, I knew it. Ooh, I know a good underrated movie that was recent. With Tom Hanks. I don't think they got enough love. He was a uh, American destroyer captain who crossed the Atlantic. Bless you. No, no, no. USS Missouri. Missouri. This guy stuck a steak in some aluminum foil and then put it between his exhaust pipes and cooked it on the motorcycle. I like it. Back here. Well, if you put it in tin foil, hopefully the juices don't leak out into because it was on a sport bike and there was a um, like lower bearing that goes into the bike. So hopefully none of the juices like leaked out into there. I have no idea. I just saw the video and they didn't really explain. <laughs> the foil is not fluid tight. No, probably not. He could have just like stopped the video, went in and cooked it right back out. It looked pretty unevenly cooked. <laughs> that was, that was probably a, legit. He had a uh, meat thermometer in there. The one in my pocket. 
Need the thermometer? <laughs> <laughs> Wonder. Handy. But yeah, tongue's going to drop off that box that should hopefully work for the panels. I'm getting so many like recalls and like shows and reminded me of that 70s show, Kelso. I kept trying to catch Donna naked and you like open the door like, oops, oops, <laughs> oops, <laughs> oops, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Are we, we're using one of our cases, right? Boxes, I mean. Yeah. Put the link to 30, 30, or 20. Yeah, so it'll be easy. I'll, I can do. Does your warranty cover accidentally dropping the computer in lava? Oh boy. I don't think so. I don't think we have a lava clause in there. Look, if you if you carry if you carry your PC up the side of a volcano and drop it into lava, um, send pics. Send send play send pics, and I will uh, come personally shake your hand. But no, you're not getting another computer. <laughs> Yippoo. Almost done. Hey. Because I'm hungry again. 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 You carried lava to your house and dropped it on the That's just irresponsible. You'll get no handshake from me. Yeah, I don't think that falls under um, improper workmanship. <laughs> so, well, Ryan's cut the warranty up. <laughs> yeah. No, you guys don't understand. The lava was in the PC when I received you it. You see the new <laughs> laptop that Evan and Caitlin made? What? Who are they? That, like, the royal family? What? <laughs> what? What if you carried lava to your house and dropped it on top of the PC? Also, um, uh, this are, um, oh. there's somewhere in here about, oh, wow. When did someone give 50 subs? Uh, that would have been during Robin's build. Yeah, Robin. We were able to hit our goal of, what was it, 205, 206? Or something like that. Like 206 subs to get him upgraded to an i9 and a 4090. Yeah. Which was phenomenal. Phenom. Phenotype. Phenotype? I don't know, somewhere in here we have something about like hazardous materials. I think lava would probably fall under that. What about if it gets spit on by a xenomorph? Mm. That would definitely be a biohazard. <laughs> yeah, we're not taking that back. Um, 43 inch laptop. 
where, 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 where is this laptop? Post, post a link and, well, actually, no, you're a mod, so you can post a link. Post a link. Picture, it didn't happen. Oh, there it is. World's biggest laptop. Crystal Sings posted it. You put it in Discord? Okay. And builds. Oh, Lord. Jesus Christ. Do, 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 do. One of these guys in a while. What is it? It apparently weighs 100 pounds. That's crazy. What the hell? Okay. Drink toilet seat. Amazing. They should have those everywhere. There you go. Ass telling. Bet some of these, uh, what do they call them? Um, the Japanese toilets? What? What do they call them? Doctor toilet? Japanese you're, toilets. Are you thinking about bidets? Yeah, bidet or That's whatever. That's not a Japanese toilet. Well, yeah, but they have like the crazy Japanese ones right now that are like doing all kinds of, like sing to you and all kinds of shit. I mean, yeah, like a lot of like uh, toilets in Japan are like yeah. very over the oh top. Oh my but, god, yeah. that's what I meant. But um, yeah, it's like one of those toilets where the mood ring it, like tells you your mood and everything. Jersey. <laughs> what about Jersey? Yeah. Let's just stay away, just in give case. Your, give your balls a tug. Yeah, that's Big not city. political. Big city slams. Big city slams. Sucking city city, bud. This is amazing. You feel a 16. Like a 32? 43. 43. <laughs> Three easy installments of $1,000. Probably just bolt legs on it and use it as your desk. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Especially because since it is you know, supposed to be a laptop, you could like hold it down. Like the uh, radiator desk 
uh, LTZ did. Yeah, that was really cool. Like really stuff cool. like that, I think is. Use a folding table bottom and put casters to help. Nice base from hardware store. Scooter. <laughs> Everything is in except the cables. About pat building or something else? <laughs> what? Uh, For your build. Oh, yeah. I believe so. my finger are you you're really you're really thinking about uh changing the cables aren't you so i will say what's it now um with the 7000d you do need either cable custom cable lengths or uh cable extensions because the CPU, actually, yeah, the CPU is probably, CPU power is probably too far away. Um, but other than that, I think that might be the only one that needs, like, needs a, an extension. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Cable Mods website, and it's, it's, Four, I guess technically five cables. It's two CPU, um, uh, two CPU cables, a 24 pin, a six pin auxiliary board power, or six pin PCIe power. Um, some of those big boards have like auxiliary power. Um, and, and then the GPU uh, cable. It was literally just for the board. Not like an extra CPU or like. The, the... Yeah, it's so there's two CPU and then here I'll show you a picture of the motherboard. That's crazy. CPU are up here instead of over. You know, it's the, the weirdest thing when I rebuilt uh, my friend's PC. His board had auxiliary power, but guess what it was using? Molex. It was Molex plugged directly into the motherboard. I don't like that at all. It was fucking weird. They also only had like three motherboard screws in. Oh, thank you. It was uh, fucking Dude, awful. It makes me upset not putting in the freaking. Well, they, they, because they rebuilt it into that case, he and a friend, like a year or two ago. And those are the only screws that they could find. Uh, yep. No, Jesus had nothing to do with that. <laughs> no, Properly no, put no. Down your mother, secure your motherboard. Molex is not the best. Molex can suck my ass. Molex was our savior back in 1980. I submit the new PC and the rate my build once complete. Uh, it's a little, be a little weird. I mean, no one's stopping you. Hey, you can put whatever you want. Again, wait, the, wait. the idea for the rate your build section was supposed to be like giving feedback to people who were planning out a new build and hadn't bought anything yet. 
The quasi, are you contemplating a new build or is this, what is this? Another one? Please no. Or, or no, please do, but this like... is. I think this is just quasi wants to flex, which is fine. If you want to flex, you can flex. New builds aside from your current, okay. Oh, okay. Also, quasi, yeah, um... You know, if if you are thinking about, um, uh, sure. not canceling the order, but changing the cables, um, I mean, we could always, you know, we could figure something out. We could always do the build with the regular cables, and then. Cancel, maybe not cancel the cable mod order, but we could just change the shipping address to you. Um, and so that the cables go directly to you, we build sooner. And then during the, when I build, I just set it up in a way that the cables are as easily um, swappable as, as, as I can make it. But that's, but that's totally up to you. We won't we won't push you either way. That's sort of your uh, your business. But if you do want it built sooner, because who fucking knows how long cable mod's gonna take with their their factory upgrades, and then with all the back ordered orders, who knows how long it'll take to get for them to get through? Um, what? Uh... Yeah, we can always get on Discord or whatever for if you do want to do that. Think it over. We obviously have a little bit of time. Um, don't don't rush into making the decision if you want to think on it for a week or however long you want. That's totally up to you. Well, how custom are the cables that Quasi was wanting? Like, They're golden black. Oh, okay. Alternate, like not something that you'd find. So probably not. And Asia cable horse mods. And a length. And uh, and the custom length because it's like 650 millimeter for the GPU cable, 750 for the motherboard and six pin, and then. Um, I think 800 for the CPU, the CPU cables, just because it's fucking long to get up there. And cable mods, pre-made cables, like their cable kits, are for I think Asus and EVGA and Corsair power supplies. They don't have it for MSI, so no dice. Yeah, Quasi, just, just let us know. You can either email us or message one of us on Discord or publicly shame us or whatever. We're into it. I'll also give you his personal number. Uh, that's up to you. So, like, uh, yeah, once we, once we get the case in hand and it's all here and fine and good, then we... Uh, make the decision. Yeah, because we, we haven't even... Uh, I mean, maybe you sent it in a previous email or whatever, but it sounds like we probably just need to like the design. Yeah, and uh, it would be nice to see the case in person before we make any design design choices, because there are uh, some. You know, if you want to do like as many white parts as possible, um, we could. We could always look at the Rara, Rara, um, the Rara. Um, there's there's maybe a couple of white motherboard options. I don't think there's anything that's pink that's like commercially like readily available um uh and then we could always do at one point i did see a white strix 4090 for like i think it was like two grand on the nose um the versus i think those go for like 1800. yeah i figured we could just figure that out um, previous email didn't have any specifications Besides, like CPU and cable. Yeah. No. Just kidding. It's twenty seven hundred dollars. <laughs> the forty eighty is two thousand. Here is eleven fifty two. Last one of the day. Yeah. And three, two, one. Oh, pretty slides. This is our 
base spec harpy except they upgraded the cpu 1200 f and set up this is our base setup Ooh, like a tunnel, like a tunnel. <laughs> Secret tunnel through the mountains. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. Oh yeah, here's the rear. For a build like this, it's good. Secret tunnel. I want someone guy in here. Oh yes. <laughs> We have that option on the website. I don't website. think so. <laughs> Ask us to put one in here. Do it. Do it. Do it, fuzzy. 1200 watt power supply. Oh, <laughs> oh no. no. Uh, I don't know. That 1200 watt that went in the 011 was not that much bigger than the DFs. That was a pretty decent size. It was not like the um, Revolt. Power supply is the dual system ones. The cooler uh, fan in the middle just brightened up the whole thing. Uh, Kyotastic, I watched a little bit of it. I saw at one point someone was like, oh, if they're going to put all the cables in, what's the point of having a modular PSU? It's like, okay, as much as you want to shit, like the, the build quality was not good. The cable management, terrible. But like... I didn't watch the video. But don't like, don't like that person that said that, like obviously doesn't understand the fact that we don't want someone to have to dig around. Like, cause we, like we always did that. We always included extra SATA. We do that here. We include extra cabling for, for um, stuff. This guy. Although what I may not have seen, there's a, a solid chance that uh, uh, Mr. Helmet Man uh, may have just plugged in everything. Like all of the, uh, all, no, cable management was awful. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Mr. Helmet Man did that himself. Yeah, because like you can only get so bad with putting fans and motherboard. Uh, don't. All right, maybe I shouldn't say don't. Helmet, Helmet Man, Just... but um, he who shall not be named. Uh, like you can only put fans and a motherboard and, and a cooler in so poorly. Um, <laughs> God damn it, Wells. Sorry. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, no zip ties. The cabling is where, yeah, Lord, uh, Lord Voldemort. Um, Look at those feet. <laughs> oh, you mean like my computer? Yeah. That doesn't bode well. I don't like the sound of that. Steve always bitches about his computer. <laughs> Him himself. Oh. Ah, yeah. Hmm. I love this. Maybe like oh. I don't know, but do it anyway. It looks like he's loaded into a game. I raid Robin because we might not get the chance to raid him because he is a very drastic different time zone. Mm-hmm. Okay. It appears to be going a little late today. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and start the raid. Oh, uh, we have no idea what happened to the Death Star build. Someone got a good deal on it. That's for sure. Oh, boy. Dear Neptune. I'm back. He is currently away, but I 
He'll be, I mean, he's loading the raid. He's loading loot, so he's coming back. Loading loot is like the last step. Yeah, we'll be back Monday. Guy who bought the auction is not much better than the other guy. Really? I kind of had a little feeling from the videos he was posting, but he's a little weird, a little, a little clout farmy, but. Uh, we'll be back Monday with possibly two builds. Definitely one build, possibly two. Got some more stuff happening, uh, possibly. Boy. Loading, loading, he's gonna die! Someone's gonna kill him. Ah. Ah. Oh, it's gonna raid. I know. The, the many multiple counters are are timing down ah ah okay i'm gonna cancel the raid okay oh no hold on oh, pause wait. pause we're gonna oh god he loaded in oh boy he's um, gonna get hacked oh no 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 every hacker on the map's running oh god oh god oh god oh god oh boy I f this feels like down jet power jeep was that west coast i haven't seen the video i don't know was it west coast i believe the with the looks of the the computer yeah it was okay now um, we're now okay now join back into the raid sorry everyone please if you watch the video you can probably tell the way it's cable managed please uh join back into the i'll tell you if it's west coast or east coast okay we got one more let's go okay now we're good uh yeah we're gonna raid robin uh, wish him, wish him luck, and, um, we'll be back Monday. Okie dokie. Ah. Bye. Pseudo ah. will be in contact about the cables and stuff. Yeah. Bye-bye. Ah.